Ben, ba, ba, ben, ba, ba, ben. Tom, 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 ta, da, Tom, ta, da, Tom. Ben, Ben, Ben. Tom, 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 <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> okay. Okay. I fucking this... love Lord of the Rings music. Fucking getting in there. <laughs> I love it. Um. We were playing a game the other... Oh, fuck, yeah. We were playing a game the other day. I just remember what game it was. Mm-hmm. We were listening to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack and was like, oh, great. Great soundtrack. Man, and it just suddenly, like, fucking pops off, doesn't it? Like, you're listening to it and you're like, oh, it's very grand. It's very majestic. Oh, I love this. And then it just goes into, like, overdrive and, like, oh. Gandalf's horse turns up and the, just the orchestra starts... Banging! And you're like, oh, my God! <laughs> the horse gets a fucking... The horse the horse gets a music sting as well. <laughs> yeah. It's all, all good. All great stuff. Oh, I love it. It's real... That's how you get me started. Oh. That's my, like... Lawn mower cord. Okay. <laughs> Your <laughs> <laughs> love, love that. Um, we don't even have uh, our chat here. Is that not our chat? Nope. What the fuck? Uh, that's okay. I can do it. I uh, thought everyone was. I thought everyone was pogging me, but they weren't. They were <laughs> no, pogging they were P flags. Pogging Perian instead. What the fuck? Um, how you doing? All right. Oh, yeah, that's about. Um, we're on a bit of a come down now. Like we can't sustain oh, our energy. Geez. Oh god. Okay. So the Lord of the Rings is a great upper, but it's very <laughs> short lived. <laughs> yeah. Um, As, uh, you know, I need I need constant. I need like three and a half hours of relentless banging Lord of the Rings music oh. to sustain the duration. You know. Yeah, that level of enthusiasm. Mm. Yeah, right. it tapers off real quick. Oof. Oof. Uh, but yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. What have I been doing? Um, I played a lot of uh, They Are Billions over the weekend. Wow. Do you remember that game? I do. Um, I completed it on 440%, which is my new record. Ooh. Every time I play, I try to get like a higher difficulty level. Because there's like five different drop downs you have to manage. Like okay. how many zombies, how much time you have, which map, um, all that kind of stuff. There's like and different combinations of them. I can't, every time I do it, I try to do it like on a higher difficulty level. And event, sometimes I have to like crank it down, but I don't want to go lower than I've already done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was just going to bring up a picture just in case people are. Oh yeah. They don't know what a, they are. Billy is green. And um, man, I, I'm so unreasonably proud of my new achievement that I thought I'd brag about it on the internet. Wow, you played a game good. I did play a game good. That's not the yours cast way. No, not one bit. Man, game hard though. Yeah. Yeah. I think it goes all the way up. Like, I remember the first time I completed it. If I it doesn't to... go up to a billion percent, oh, they goes, fucked up. <laughs> they did they fuck up. Fucked up. Uh, you only kill like fifty thousand zombies in that, you know. Wow, it's real, real false advertising. But yeah, the first time I completed it, I had to go below a hundred percent because I just couldn't figure out like how to do it. Yeah, geez, like, because um, it's oh, shit, man. That game. The first time you play it and the big end assault comes in, you're like, I'm not ready for this! I'm not ready at all! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, before you ever think to, like, take the fight to the zombies and you're mm. just trying to survive. Um, yeah, like, being, like, figuring out that actually everything that's on the map's going to rush you at the end. So it's worth you clearing out the map beforehand. Yeah. Like, until I learned that, I had no, I, like, no was, chance. Yeah, super difficult. Mm. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, I played played a played a bunch of it, and then stopped. Yeah, I would come back to it for like a month every year. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, I get really into it, and then I get a new record for me, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to play it for another year I've now. Tick, tick the box. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Uh, exactly. That's all uh, I've been playing recently. I did a bit of hobbying. Want to see some photos? Yes. Uh, yes, Papa. Boom. I played Twilight Imperium. Fuck off. Which I haven't done for years. You, Dom, do you not want to know about the spaceships? Uh, anyway. If you can boil the 12 hours down into uh, one minute. Uh, Lewis won. Ah. So that was good. <laughs> the end. Okay. <laughs> I was these nerdy science nerds, the purples. And Mike was the evil red Bugulons whose only rule is good at war. Okay. And my rule is so nerdy that 
bad at war. Right. All that my dice rolls sound like the best matchup. No, my dice rolls are minus one. His dice rolls are plus one. Ooh. So his that's like a big. That's a big boon. Unarmed troop transports are as good as my battleships. <laughs> okay. Real bad. Um, so I survived, but that was spooky. Um, but yeah, very long game. But we did have fun. Yeah, I wish um, it was shorter. Finished my Imperial Guard. Ooh. Which I was quite happy with. My green boys. boys. Yeah, I did a little command squad with uh, bearskins. Nice. Very good. Which I thought were cute. Um, I've, I've revamped them all now. All my heavy weapons are in separate squads. And my infantry now have like melters and plasmas. Because that's a new thing you can do now. In the rules. Very good. There we go. Hundreds of sort of adequately painted boys. I think they look great. I think they look real good. Thank you. I might have to get the third Sentinel before you can't get these old ones. Oh, either. shit. Yeah, jump in on that because mm. new Sentinel. New thing bad. New thing bad. Old thing good. I really rushed these boys, but let's have a little command squad. I think they're grand. And um, there we go. Job done. Pop in the case. Oh, and then lastly, <gasps> um, the new Arcs of Omen boarding actions. Yes. I was very down on them, mm. but suddenly and inexplicably... I'm now very excited. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, roller coaster. <laughs> I know, right? I've done a complete U-turn, but I don't want to buy the 130 pound plastic Space Hulk terrain. It's expensive. Very expensive. So instead, to try it out and see what I think of the new rules, I bought a, um, oh, where did we go? Wrong way. Boop, 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 boop. I bought this, which is like a modular card spaceship thing. Oh, that's cool. It's been about 40 pounds. And I've got as much as you need for a game. Amazing. And um, look, you've got a little door. Look, it's on stand. You can pull the door out oh. and walk through. And um, it comes with like neoprene mat. So you don't get the reflections you get on the cardboard stuff. Oh, great. And you can mix and match all your wall sections with these plastic clips. And um, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try out the, the boarding missions because it sounds like they've actually got some fun ideas in them. Yeah, I, I want to give it a go. Um, I'm curious to see the, the balance. Yeah, certain units will be crap, and certain units will be amazing, uh, for sure. Um, but very, very intrigued by it. Hmm. Uh, and like, yeah, you know, 500 point game. Hopefully it doesn't take... Yeah, hour, hour and a half, hopefully. Uh, yeah, geez, Maybe less. hopefully like an hour. Well, also, because you've got restricted movement and line of sight, there shouldn't be too much fucking around. Yeah, uh, that's the dream. And half the time, your units won't be able to see anything anyway to shoot, so actually maybe less than an hour. Yeah. I want, I want it to be, like, less than an hour mm. by a game. Uh, you know, hour, hour and a bit for the first time, and then after that, boom, knock it out real quick. Uh, but yeah, I'd love, I'd love to play some. Cool. Well, I, I brought this stuff into the office today, so Ooh. we'll leave it here, and hopefully when we've got time, Ooh. try it out. Do you have the book? The book's out this weekend. Oh. Uh. But I did watch Orspec's Tactics' explanation of the whole book. Oh, okay. And that's what got me sort of keen, because... The, he said the magic words, Tom. No stratagems. Oh, okay. No stratagems instantly. <laughs> yeah. And no secondary missions either. Okay, great. No fucking around. It's just do do the book mission. Do do the quest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no relics. No warlord traits. Sounds, um, sounds good. None of that crap. Just units smashing in take, corridors. Take your man. Shoot other man. Mm -hmm. They well, apparently they're gonna add. Special boarding action relics, wall of traits, and stratagems mm. in the other books. Mm. Fuck that. Make sure you buy all no, four of those I books. I will not be buying any more books. Uh, I'm going to play a couple of games of this, and that'll probably be it. Yeah, see see how it comes together. Yeah, that sounds real real good. Uh, I want to I want to try. Uh, I kind of want to use it as an excuse to like actually build build a new little thing. Mm, well, 500 points pretty quick to paint. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what are you tempted by? Just make a little fucking gene sealer thing, right? Oh, you know, nice. Because who lives in Space Hulks? Also, I think pure strain gene stealer is actually quite legit Ooh. in corridors because um, the rules are you're not allowed to charge unless you have a line of sight. Right. Really? Oof. Um, so you can you can move around a corner and charge, but you can't charge around the corner. But Gene Stealers have a high movement, and they are allowed to assault after running. Oh, shit. So you've got your wow. big move and your run, and then your charge. Oh, jeez. So I think Don't actually it's a bit like, fuck it, oh, there's Gene Stealers on the board. Oh, they've charged me. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Hmm. 
I want to do, um, maybe I could paint up my Inquisitorial guys. Your goons. Yeah, all the Kazakin and, um... Oh, yeah, that sounds real good. Then we could have a, um, like an Auto Xenos boarding. Yeah. A Genius Dealer Space Hulk. Uh, scenario. I like that. that They're coming cool. out of the goddamn walls! Out of the goddamn walls! Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm into. Yeah, for anyone who wants to know, that is um, systems called battle systems. Systems. It's called battle systems, um, and it feels like it's going to be like a pretty good. Oh, um, that looks great! Like alternative, because the main there was two things putting me off. One was the cost oh. of the Games Workshop stuff, and the other one was painting it all. Mm. Whereas this is half the price and basically painted. And you get a few bits of extra, like doodads. That was cool. Anyway, there we go. All sorts of doors, doors, walls, and pipes. Doors within doors. Uh, yeah. So there we go. That's that's me, my hobbies. Yeah, I wanna I wanna try that out. I wanna give that a go. Nice. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a thing. How about yourself, man? How have you been? Have you yeah, been pretty good. To? Pretty chill. Uh, not really done too much, uh, hobbying. Um, played a bit more Gaslands. Nice. But we're just pushing, pushing toy cars around. Perfect. Brum, brum, brum. Uh, but yeah, not really done any building or anything. Mm. Uh, but did some of that, which was yeah. nice. And then just chilling out. Nice. Playing some games, playing uh, some stuff, watching some movies and stuff. Oh yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing too um, too crazy, crazy or wild hmm. at all. Uh, G. Kelly says it looks better if you go around the edges with a marker pen to get rid of the white. That is a good idea. That just sharpie along the top of all those walls. Yeah, just take a black black marker, sit and watch an episode of something, and just do all of that. Yeah, that that sounds like That's an immediately mm -hmm. very good idea. I remember like doing that with. Um, uh, Space Hulk stuff. Oh, like yeah. on all the tokens. Suddenly mm. just marker penning around the side. They just look just infinitely better on the table. Yeah, that's great. And it's the kind of thing that you don't notice at first. But, but it subconsciously just, like, just makes it all look it, cooler. It just looks just looks cooler on yeah. the board. I did the same thing. I also put down, um, I've got one of those rollout mats for playing Armada on. Mm. It's just like space and stars. If I put that down before I built the Space Hulk board, it looks way cooler. Oh, okay. Because it doesn't yeah. make any difference, because it's just the space in between the corridors and the rooms. But instead of it being your kitchen table, it, it's like stars and yeah, space and stuff. It just, it just looks nicer. The immersion is so much better. Mm. Love that. Very, very into that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so do you want to find out what's new in Warhammer last week? Yeah, fair but bit of is, stuff. Is there? I thought there was it's not going to be as It's mainly like boarding action stuff. Um, there's a couple of bits we didn't get to last week as well. Somehow, even though we spent three hours on this. Just chatting shit. shit. So I think we hit we did that. that guy and those guys. Yes. So this is new. Here we go. Boop, boop. Uh, do you care about Blood Bowl? Sure, like why not? What is it? Um, what, is, what is Blood Bowl? Oh, this balance thing. Could be a thing. Uh, we got those guys. Sure. Oh, whoops. No. No. Rot row. Done goofed. Um, we could also, we somehow haven't done any Kickstarter roulette for a while. I'm not sure. How. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there must be a whole load of those. Yeah. Uh, the, what's new on the, the table? Uh, whatever that thing's called. Yeah. In your box. In your box. In the blue box. Oh, Yarek's back. I've not wow. been on this for a couple of days. Kind of. I heard, uh, well, I guess like that's recasting. Mm. But I, I'm not surprised because I heard rumors or something today that the old Gazgol model is coming up for a recast sometime soon. Oh, so right. So I assumed that they were going to put sure. Yarek in the same box. Or oh, yeah, at least both at the, the same, same time. time. That but, would make sense. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. So what have we got? So we got um, these guys, Cadian accessory packet, which is weird because some uh, only a couple of armies get these. Most mm. armies don't get 
like a like the Black Templar's got a cool set with a million different weapons and heads and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the Cadians get one now. I don't know how they decide who gets it and who doesn't. But it's nice to have all this extra shit. That looks real cool. Man, Ooh, I love the big belt-fed auto gun. Yeah. Uh, that looks super fucking cool. This dude looks the amazing. The tank commander is my favorite part of this by a long shot. Uh, he looks great. Is pretty fucking rad. Um, you know, you've got alternate helmets. I like the gas mask helmets. I like the little caps. You can make yourself some Mordian Iron Guard or something with the little little field caps. Oh, nice. Um, with these guys having a smoke. Yeah, just like, man. Oh, it looks great. You know what? I'm into it. How does mm. it cost? £25? Who knows? There's no way of knowing. But Probably overpriced, but it's nice. Cool bits. Like, yeah, if you're buying, you know, if you're building 30 fucking guys or 40 guys, getting one of these sprues just to add a little bit of extra flavor mm. instantly sounds rad. Yeah. And I, I like this. I don't know what you do. Is that some kind of like wound token or something? Or yeah, token? or just like a little objective marker. It's just simple mm. enough and cute enough. Well, it feels weird that they left the dog tags on it, right? Wouldn't, yeah, you see you... that a lot in movies, but that is literally the purpose of the dog tag is to take that back, right? Well, they, don't you take one of the dog tags off? You leave yeah. one on the body to identify, and you take one to be like... like to go in the bag. The, 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 the sad the, bag. The sadness bag, yeah. And... But who knows? In the 41st millennium, maybe they've got like oh, 50 true. of them and everyone gets to take one. <laughs> yeah. And they trade them like uh, Pokemon cards or something. Yeah, they're pogs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, this stuff this stuff looks ace. Um, I'm I'm into it. And especially if you're going to make like a little uh, kill team or something out of yeah. aliens. Like and just a way to give everyone like some extra... A bit more personality, right? Extra flavor. There's a bionic arm on there. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure what the axe is for. I get like the tank crew stuff, but having fun axe axe times. Just to have an axe. Why not? I think I think it looks great. I'm very into it. Hmm. Yeah, it's great. And yeah, that guy is the best. He's amazing. It's nice to have a tank commander who isn't screaming and waving a sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although that, I, I am fond of the <laughs> drive me closer so I can hit them with my sword knee. <laughs> it's it, a good one. Just <laughs> very cool. Well, so you don't get a lot of this like buttoned-up officer garb very often. Yeah, which I, I am a big fan of. Mm. Um, I want my officers to have a bit of pomp to yeah, them. Oh, of course. You know, you've got to separate them from the riffraff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, they're not just a random pleb. Uh, they're gentlemen. You got a medic? They look cool. Sure. A little blood bag and a stabber. Hmm. Looks like he's about to like stab himself in the leg with it. Well, you know, like one for you, one for me, <laughs> yeah. boop. Uh, just a little little bit of both. Yeah. I love the smell of morphine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. My God, they've painted a rubber glove onto him. Look at that. It's like a... Oh, shit. I was like, why is his hand a different color? And then I realized it's because he's they've oh. painted the effect of a stretched over plastic over his skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks good. But I think to most people at a glance, they'll be like, did he do a fucking hand swap from a different model? <laughs> yeah. Why has why he got weird hands? I would have gone with like white gloves or those like blue nitrile gloves. Oh, yeah. Extra creep factor. Yeah. Oh, he's having a bad day. Oh, God. He's a bit pale. Mm hmm. But it's cool, you know? Yeah. That person has... They've just realized for the last, like, three hours <laughs> he's had the map upside down and has to tell... Yeah. Tell this fucking dude... <laughs> They're in, that like, they totally are the wrong place. in the wrong position. Oh, no! Just, oh, fuck! I've been looking at the front cover of the map but not the actual map. Yeah, like, they are going to be in a lot of trouble. This is, uh, he, he does an etch every time he gets bollocked for getting lost. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Six times. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, looking, looking grand. Very cool. Man. Yeah. Are they all screaming? Oh! <laughs> oh! A, lot of, a lot of them are, are having a shout. You can... Well, you're a guardsman in the 41st millennium. Yeah, you got a lot to shout There's about. There's not going to be a lot of times when you aren't <laughs> screaming. That's <laughs> yeah, very true. Uh, uh, this tells us how army lists work in boarding actions. Yeah. Um, you can have one character. Mm -hmm. You can have up to three troops, three elites. Um, no, no, no vehicles, no flyers, all that kind of obvious stuff. Plus then little rules for every army to say... Okay, you know, you can have some flesh hounds, even though they're not infantry. 
and okay, you can have like Gene Stealer cults can have their characters don't count. They're like uh, minor characters don't count right, for one character, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh, um, so it's nice that they've literally, rather than just having like a paragraph of rules for every army, like one paragraph to cover everyone, they've actually gone through every codex and said, here's a thing that would make sense, you can have that. Yeah, here's a thing, here, you can have, have a that. couple of extra, extra bits of bobs. Um, so I appreciate that. This is the first time in my experience Games Workshop's actually made the effort um, with, and not making you buy the book for this either. Yeah, which is great. I, well, I guess, like, you know, the price point barrier of entry to even play this. Mm. You know, assuming you are going to use this stuff, you oh have God, to yeah. this, buy a bunch of shit. This terrain is very expensive, and it's not stuff most people have lying around. Yeah, and so I think they need need to do something a bit like that. Like, give the rules away free just to give you the taste. Yeah, just to have a hope of getting anyone into it. But then in all the books, you know, suddenly, oh, buy the book and you'll have the rules for these units for mm. each of your armies. Yeah, they probably will get you. They'll get you eventually. They'll get you. Um, yeah, just some examples, you know. Ogrins feel pretty good in a Space Hulk. Ogrins, oh man. Yeah, they're not going to be super happy. Ogrin, though, like tight oh, space. Yeah, and but, dark space. But once you get them in there. With their big, like, shields. Oh my god, those giant shields. And just a mole walking down the corridor, <laughs> like yeah. yeah, feels like a a pretty fucking solid boy to have stood in front of you. Yeah, that's that's the guy I want to be behind during a uh, boarding action. Um, yeah, and that's a fun way to do little like you know corsairs, pi space pirates. Why not? Five hundred yeah. points. Yeah, it's just cool. a way to do like a, f a little five hundred point army. Mm. Sounds real nice. Uh, what else have we got? This is new new rules for Blood Bowl match play guide. I don't know why you really need a guide to play Blood Bowl. Basically, it is a match play game. Is this for tournament organizers yeah. or? It says makes a TO's job easier. <coughs> so maybe they've got fixed rules for like, okay, this is how many skills you can get in between games. Right, okay, sure. Know, maybe. Um, different formats? Sure. I like that um, super old school looking board. Mm. It's like how uh, old school, like original Blood Bowl used to look. Oh, there we go. Official tournament support for Blood Bowl. Who'd have thought? It's only taken them <laughs> four years. <laughs> when did this version of Blood Bowl come out? Jeez, yeah. I remember. Long time. Uh, Great. Cool. Uh, they've done a, a pretty fucking major overhaul of the 40k balance rules. I don't know if you know this, Tom, but um, well, we talked about this last week, didn't we? The uh, the take whatever you like. Yeah, take, take anything. Just fucking take anything. Don't even worry about having a detachment. Um, but more importantly, uh, they've redone all the points and done a um, uh, like they got rid of armor of contempt and. All that kind of stuff, like all the restrictions. Yeah. Still got the weird flyer and artillery restrictions, but they got rid of some of the other stuff. Which is, you know, kind of fun, kind of weird. Uh, sort of into it. Mm. I've got mixed feelings about this. They've given most units free war gear. Which seems insane. Which uh, is just bonkers. When, me. But it's not all units or all armies it like that it just you cannot have that balanced by any means sure. no uh just some things just are better well that's it like do i you know my ta space marine tactical squad now it can just if i'm not giving my sergeant a power fist and t a multi melter and a plasma gun all in the same squad those are like the most expensive things that i now get for free so now my other squad that's got no Upgrades on the sergeant and my heavy bolter, because that's what I had and well, that's what I wanted. That's what you built before. Now I've just gimped myself. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not cheaper, even though it's worse. Yeah. It's oh, fuck it. Why don't we just go back to using power value again? Then that's basically what this is, right? If like, if, I'm pretty sure that they're building into the next edition. I bet they won't even have points, and it will just be power value on everything. Hmm. Uh, just to make it easier to make a list. 
because uh, it feels like it's getting, it's getting so close to that right now. Yeah. That We're one step away from going back to power value, mm. which I don't love, because now I can't take my... Quite often, I don't want to take all the upgrades on everything all the time, you know? So yeah. I have to have a stripped-down unit with less yeah. gear. Yeah, like being able to mechanically do that for, you know, nuance of what you want a unit to do, but now, like, every unit is going to take all the war gear they can mm. because it's free. Like, it's silly not to. Mm. Uh, yeah, kind of, like, changes a bit of the look of what an army would be like and how you imagine yeah. it, it going. Like, can you imagine um, Death Watch veterans? I was thinking about... I was looking through what they are allowed to take. Everything except Thunderhammers is free for them now. So they come with a bolt gun. Yeah. But really, I should give them all storm shields and power fists and combi bolters, uh, I guess. Because it's free. Yeah, give them all a combi melter. Yeah. So suddenly now every model in your army's now got a melter gun. <laughs> yeah. uh, where before they just had a bolt gun. Give them all a storm shield. Great, everyone's now got a four up in bolt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, fuck it. Power fists. So now they are all um, strict eight in combat. Yeah. Well, I've, I've effectively paid the points for that because they actually increased the points of Death Watch veterans to 27 points per model. Okay. So if you're not taking all that shit, then you've got a very expensive bolt gun there. Yeah, so. which... Yeah, wild. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. It feels like fucking lazy-ass game design. Is weird band-aids, but, you know, I'd like to give it a go. Uh, and I think, like, you know, of the only armies that I really cared about, Gene Stealer Colts, because that's what you were playing. Mm. You know, they sound like they made them a bit more fun. Uh, no, I looked through it closely, unfortunately. Oh, no. Uh, they do have to pay for all their shit. Oh, do they? Except for uh, special weapons they don't have to pay for. So I can have gr grenade launchers uh, free. Grenade launchers for everybody. <laughs> yeah. What about your, your mining tools? No, there's 15 points each. Oof. Well, I guess like having all the um, I get a the banners power pick on my uh, on my sergeant for free. That'd be good. Um, the banners, no, they still have to pay for banners. Yeah, but um, they're half the price now. Yeah, it's only like ten points. Might be worth using. Still not sure if I would want them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Some I mean, space marines did very well out of this. Almost everything in their army is 15 to 20 percent cheaper. Um, but Genius Dealer Colts is like two units that got two points off, um, and demo charges are five points cheaper. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and you get demo charges on all your vehicles for free now. Yeah, which is great. So those little squads driving around throwing bombs out of cars, mm. uh, actually pretty legit. Yeah. So I'd definitely give it a go, but it's not all. It's not like big big changes. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Anywho, at least they're, at least they're trying. Because you know what? Back when I was playing a lot, back in like third or fourth edition, you never got this. No, you did not get updates. No, no, just one army. That was just a good army. Yeah, until the next edition came out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So even though I'm picking picking holes, and I don't think they've done it right, it's better than not doing it. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah, for sure. Good and bad job. Yeah. Well done. Mixed mixed bag. Um, there's new lore, Tom. Cool. Abaddon, he's a bad dude. Um, so you know this new... This, I, I watched a summary of the story of this book. Mm. And um, the idea is there's a whole fucking bunch of MacGuffins out in the universe. Magic keys that Abaddon wants. Mm. And to do that, he's built the Arcs of Omen, he, a terrifying space hulk of doom, and he's given them to all his like all his mates. Mm -hmm. And he's like, You go get this key, you go get this key, you go get this one. And so everyone in the galaxy has to get on board these space hawks and stop them from finding all the magic keys. Um and who's that guy? Mecha Demon? Crash door. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy. Uh, Apparently, he's almost a chaos god. Oh. He's not just like a demon prince. He's like a neutral. He's a non 
denominational <laughs> okay, demon. Okay, so... Do you know what I mean? He's not yeah, one of the four. Right. He doesn't belong to any of them. He's his own essence. I'm my own thing! <laughs> and he... He's, like, powered by, um... He's fueled by, like, mad science. Rage. So you know how, like, the more bloodshed and slaughter there is, the stronger corn gets. Okay. Um, and, they, you know, 40k is a pretty grim, dark place, so he's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. Um, this guy's like a lesser god, because he's not on par with the other four. Mm. But the more bonkers mad science and forbidden knowledge is going on, the, like, the more powerful he gets. Okay. So he's trying to, like, seed that around the galaxy, and he thinks if there's just a bit more fucking crazy science out there, he'll be up there. He'll be there with the big four. Okay. That's his, that's his dream. He wants to ascend to, like, the next level of Chaos Godhood. I'm going to call it. I don't think he's going to... Don't think he's going to hit his goal. What? I don't. I'm just going to call it. <laughs> don't think he's going to. Don't think he's going to complete that quest. But he's, you know, he's made. All, he thinks if Abaddon can get all those keys and turn on all the old super technologies, that'll that'll tick, tickle his boxes for him. I heard a rumor that mm. those keys are to wake up Lionel Johnson. <gasps> he loves keys. That all of the keys. Uh, are weird old Dark Angels relics or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Because Dark Angels are going to have feature heavily in the l next part of this campaign, apparently. And that they want the keys as well. Oh. Because if they get the, the, the keys and they all turn the lock at the same time, Lionel Johnson wakes up wow. and uh, is like, no Abaddon. And who is Mecha Boy? Fuck off. It's the last <laughs> book. We're done with you. Get you're, out of here. You're not going to feature again for a while. They might pick him up because if they do, if in a year or two they do like a Dark Mechanicus mm. model range, he'd be like their king, right? Yeah, king of king of the crazies. It's a shame he's not a better model. <laughs> yeah, it feels cooler. I think I could get into it. Because I like Dark Mechanicus and I like demon engines. Mm. Um, so if they do a whole bunch of wackier demon engines for like his sub faction, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Could be, I'd be down with that. Keita <laughs> uh, Liner Johnson's chastity belt says vengeful drop there. Oh god, Holy shit! He doesn't want to go out wearing it. He's like, I'm not leaving till this comes off. Yeah, but when it is <laughs> unlocked, then he's coming into the galaxy to fuck. Okay, yeah. and... <laughs> Man, he's got ten thousand years of. Of backup to yeah. clear. Well, mega blue balls just to go out and just start blasting. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the rumor. Rumor I heard. Okay, uh, that makes sense. And someone had put this like big article together with like mm, here uh, snippets which were referring to these keys and s for some reason so i can see why the dark angels want them all then but then why does why does chaos want them they don't want to wake up the lion i think it's because the, each one is like a a special artifact oh for, of great power for reasons or something it was okay. a lot of it was very ambiguous and it was like a little snippet and then this person with two paragraphs of extrapolation and i read mm. the first 10 percent of this and was like okay right i get I get where you're going. Yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't care about uh, every single part of this. Mm. Uh, so, I guess you know, okay. just they want them because they're cool. Keys are cool. I like Keys. a good <laughs> key. Yeah, bam. Uh, I'd rather have a key than a lock. Yeah. Yeah, because the locks can't be opened without the key. If you get the key, then maybe you'll find the lock. Yeah, but by that logic, if you've got the lock, you might find the key. Yeah, but you can't carry that around on you. A lock? Yeah, because uh, presumably it's locking a box or something. It could be. We didn't say that. It could be an open <laughs> lock. Oh, really? so if like, you're like, I really want this thing to be shut, yeah. and I can lock it. Ah, but never unlock it. Yeah, yeah. That's more useful than just a key, I guess. Yeah. Because surely you've got like a drawer in your house that has a couple of keys in it that you were like, I have no fucking <laughs> idea what these are for. That's true. But I don't want to throw them out just in case. <laughs> I find a lock. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so. So. So, yeah. So that's the whole deal, basically. Like, are they going to find a way to thumb everyone into it? Of like, course. 
Why are the Look, towel involved? There's, there's an Eldar. So Eldar, I can understand, like... They're always sticking their noses into Yeah, the they're like, this, chaos they? bad, we're going to stick our noses in. Mm. Wah. <laughs> um, Looks like you're trying to have fun. Yes, we don't like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, like maybe some of the keys are in Towland. Sure. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> if you can't thumb in a good enough reason, yeah, on Tau Planet, that's where one of the keys is. <laughs> yeah. One of the space hawks is going there, so the Tau are going to have to fight it. Yeah, okay. there you go. Great, problem it, solved. It's way better than the third war for Armageddon that everyone oh, had to turn geez. up for. Yeah, you just find reasons as to... <laughs> Oh, the Tau fleet got lost! <laughs> yeah. And they're here now! Okay, sure. Uh, okay, great. There we go. So that's that's the new Deep Bridge Law. We'll see see what happens next. Um, Alpha Legion heads, they're here. I don't like them. Yeah, once again, you, if that was um, painted in red and... <laughs> Red and gold and silver, and you yeah. told me this was a, a fucking Thousand Suns mm. um, head. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So. The quite like Grumpy Face. He, mm, I'm all fairy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, their, their dragons look a bit like they're like made of rope, and they should oh, be yeah. sold in some like. Souvenir store somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> they really do. Mm. Don't love them. No, the previous like, again, like ninety percent of these, the last set of these were better. Mm. It's definitely well, most of these feel like downgrades, which is disappointing. Um, there's a Sigma preview. New cities of Sigma stuff coming. I want to see normal people in Age of Sigma. Yeah. See what their deal is. There's not enough normal people in in this universe. I want to see. I want to see them. Show me the normies. Sure. Uh, Grabos. Nice. Love them. They're great. Uh, oh, I guess this is all the stuff uh, that's been previewed that is now now available for order. Actually coming out. Makes sense. Okay. Um, so there's new Sigma stuff. They've finally done the um, this box set that was voted like second best miniature of the year. Hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which seems a little bit whack. Sure. But finally, we've got um, the Chaos Warriors and the Chaos Knights. These guys, they came out three years ago Ooh. in a in a start collecting box, and then they never yeah. released them separately. And now they have, three years later, finally. He's got faces on his shield. That's cool. I like a good face face shield. Mm. Yeah, these models are all great. I like them a lot. And uh, although they have taken now so long that I'm probably not going to buy them. Like I painted my force. I've got it ready. It's, I can play Saga with it. Yeah. Like, do you want to go um, back and have to add some stuff I to it? I can't remember how I painted them now. Like the recipes. Yeah. And so, so probably not going to get any more. Fuck it off. <laughs> yeah. Though I was kind of thinking. Uh, about these guys the other day that you could do a cool uh, Chaos Space Marine biker gang mm -hmm. but use these guys because all it would yeah. take is putting backpacks, backpacks on. on and just changing their lance and stuff for just chain swords and chain axes that's true and uh, potentially you could even put Chaos Space Marine helmets in but just mm -hmm. do like a real old school just Doom Rider sort of uh, yeah that'd be great uh, sort of gang because like something like the Lord Discordant on his oh, big mecha yeah. horse uh, he'd fit in really leading, nicely with that a load of bikers and mm. get a couple of like spiders and things just you could do a just really themed up weird KLC raiding gang yeah that'd be great uh, that. and give them all like um, big, those big belt fed bolters that they're all waving around yeah them, so. yeah exactly just make them look like just absolute psychopaths love it This banner's done really nicely. Mm. I like I that. Know. I don't really like those. Minotaurs. No, I don't like them. I like the older Minotaurs more, and I didn't even like them. Yeah, yeah. God, they were bad. Look at some real boring, but very clear dice. Super legible. Very, very clean. Mm. Nice on that. 20 um, dice as well. Also 20 dice. So, fuck you, Chaos Space Marines, I guess. 
<laughs> For some reason, I only allowed 15. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm guessing these were delayed in production. That's Oh, probably. Uh, probably. Oh, chances are, yeah, this whole fucking thing was meant to a, come out. A year or two ago. Uh. <laughs> so now it's coming out after they've already... Oh, no! There's only 15 dice in a pack from now on, except for these guys. Yeah, uh, which seems weird. Well, I hope that all the others do get 20 dice, and for just for some <laughs> unknown reason, just <laughs> Chaos Space Marines just got fucked over. <laughs> yeah. So mean. Yeah, but you could use these for any Chaos Army, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they're just honestly just nice dice. Mm. I like them. If I had a Chaos Army, I would, I would get these dice. Very good. I do like the new Horus. He's way better than the old one. He's cool. He's a cool guy. He's nice. And we've seen all of these before. Uh, they've got... This is quite nice. I don't know how much they're charging for it, but... It feels like a nice sort of collector's edition thing. Like an old ancient 48 team. pounds is my guess. Ooh. It's limited. Oh. Who knows? So 80 pounds. Mm, yeah, probably. Um, there isn't a button to like find out. Oh, he's got a, mouth, a chest tummy mouth. Hello! <laughs> it's always weird to see them without a helmet, isn't it? You're like, oh yeah, yeah they, are, they are people. He's a people. Soul Slayer. Mm. Sure. Well, speaking of Black Library, I started reading that book um, that you read. Yeah. About the. Kingmaker. Is Kingmaker. It? Yeah, someone recommended it. And I just finished a different book. I was like, that sounds actually kind of kind of rad. This one. I love the premise. It's like an, a, an assassination hit squad trying to take out the king of a, a night world. So you've got a lot of like space feudalism going on. Mm. It's fun. I'm only like 20, 30% of the way through, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just a lot of fun. Just a great romp. Mm, it's like a heist. Yeah, there's like a very clear-cut thing. A lot of it is just planning, like, how do they do this? They mm. have to kill this guy, but make it not look like he was assassinated by the Imperium. Mm -hmm. And you and can't allow a civil war to begin. Yeah, so you, you can't let all the knights fight each other, because we need them to be an army still. Yeah, so you've got to find a way to not only kill the guy but make sure that there's like a bloodless coup like succession yeah and that the most stable pro-imperial guy inherits the throne mm. like it's yeah they've got to really pull off some game of thrones shit yeah which is fun and a lot of these guys don't get out of their night suits very often <laughs> yeah exactly and so uh having like the very boring tactical vindicare and then the more sassy you know social manipulation mm. undercover agent cowardice and then the Nerdy Vanus, who's just fucking sending people uh, <laughs> just a million emails, <laughs> yeah, all the time. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. Enjoy, fun, fun Enjoyed book. it a lot. Uh, we got this guy. I like, I like a Bugulon. Um, guy's kind of cool. He is a cool Bugulon. I really like him actually a lot. I don't know why. I think he's a great, like, wandering monster mm. have around. I do like the Ash Nomads anyway. They're, they're, they're a fun look. I've I love the, the paint job. I would never have thought to paint it like that. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's actually really effective. Uh, I could do with it having an extra set of legs. Oh, yeah, shit. I just assumed it had six, but you're right. I guess it fits with their other walkie boys. Do they only have... Um, I think they've only got two as well. They're like the little fleas. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, seems good. Seems cool guy. I've always liked the sort of like Beastmaster kind of vibe as well. Mm. He's got one of his armor plates as his weapon. Yeah, which is great. Kind of fun. Uh, yeah, very cool. I'm cool, trying cool to boy. Find an excuse to pick up him at some point. What a fun, what a fun bug man. Uh, got some new battle forces. So, you know, space Marines. More Space Marines or some cultists, whatever you like. Um, cool. It really looks like that guy's about to eat these guys. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 uh, Sure. That's fine. Uh, oh, magic potion. Could be anything. <laughs> war cry. Honestly, it could just be a fucking war cry, couldn't it? Probably. Um, like, oh, it's the incense burning gang. Hmm. 
Like, could be an elf, could be a lizard, could be anything. Could be a necromundo. Yeah. Who knows? Um. Oh, we've seen these. Just the forest is very cool. Boop. Uh, Yarek's back. Both Yarek's. Very cool. Man, I always, I hate, always hated the crab claw. But I, I like have fond nostalgia for the crab claw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but uh, the weird, like skeleton bolt gun coming out of its mouth thing is. I, kind of I like wacky, that whole whole look. Uh, I think he's great. But like this Yarek is fucking rad. Yeah. It's so good. That's such a cool model. That's the one I always think of. I mean, this was the first one I saw, but I much prefer the the second. Yeah, he looks just ace. I do love his banner, though. Tells That's the whole story, doesn't it? Yeah. You want to know how I got this claw? Oh, he <laughs> chopped off my arm. <laughs> and it, you can put two and two together, <laughs> but that orc has <laughs> this claw. Um, and that orc isn't around anymore. So uh, there you go. That's the story. Job done. Do you reckon these little fingers move? Yeah. Is it like articulated? Yeah. They're not just for show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know how much you can really do with it. <laughs> well, that means that this, this is his snipper, then. And those are his three fingers. Yeah. One of them's his thumb. Yeah, I feel like that's his thumb. And that's his index finger, right? Feels weird to be like... <laughs> like, that's going to take some practice to get used to. Is that your main battle attack is to... Is to say that you're okay. <laughs> I'm <people>. okay. <laughs> sure. But I guess when they're that big, you get you get into it. <laughs> like we're yeah. not used to it because we're not going to cut a person in half <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, whereas, um, I wonder if he's good on the castanets. Oh, definitely. I think he has to like practice with those <laughs> as like yeah. finesse training. Right. Uh, you know, there'll be a, a salsa dance going on, <laughs> right. and then he has to come in and you know. Oh, he goes on like. Imperi Imperial's version of Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah, yeah. And um, and he just wows everyone with his tango. Uh, which is which is great. Which would be so much harder with uh, this one. Yeah, very true. But yeah, amazing model. Big fan. Well done. Creed, uh, Creed is amazing. I love that model. It's a really good model. Just looks so fucking good. It tells a story. You immediately know what's, what's this guy's deal is. Yeah, you? you can instantly latch on to <laughs> that guy as an Imperial officer. Like, great, I got him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I think he's really fucking good. Yeah, he's great. And I don't know much about her. She her books came out after I stopped keeping up with everything. I didn't uh, I didn't read them. Um, Honestly, I assume this model was still in production. Yeah. It feels like it didn't come out that long ago. It's relatively new. I didn't, yeah, didn't know it had gone out of production. So. Oh, and all the old commissars. That That's guy's one great. of my favorites. He's really good. Fucking mega collar, screaming hit sermons. Yeah. What a boy. This guy, guy. I had. I don't know why his lips blew. Yeah. But I had this model and I loved it. I thought he was a badass. He was one of my favorites. Just He just looks fucking ace. You just know he's executing someone. That guy's there. good. You know, he's a classic. Mm. Big fan. I didn't know all of these had gone away either. What kind of shit commissars have people got these days then, if none of these are around? Oh, God. I, I don't even know what the commissars are at the moment. Let's rate, rate commissars. There's the... The new Kazian one, which might not even be out yet, that I didn't really like. Mm. Where are they? Uh, Esther Militarum. Esther Miller, what? Oh, yeah, it's that shit guy. Uh, you sell him separately, or do you only get him? Oh, he's okay. I don't hate him. That guy, the sort of popping he's guy. He's a bit, like, dancey. He's a bit too dancey. He's got a good hat, though. Uh, yeah, which is great. It's a real good hat. Are there any others? Is that the only commissar you can get, apart from Gaunt? Surely you'll just... Uh, yeah. Shit. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, if you're an Imperial Guard player, grab one of these cool commissars before they yeah, go again. Yeah, gods, they're just so much better. <laughs> they really are. Like, every single one here is, yeah, just, is just better. It's just better. 
I guess none of these were plastic, so that's why this guy's like the only one who's oh, okay, he's plastic. Sure. He's all right. He's got a bit of a Grand Moff Tarkin kind of face. Yeah, I kind of like he looks fine. I wish he wasn't so dancey. If he was just stood there blasting, yeah, I'd be more into it. But you want a bit more like dignity in your commissar, you yeah. Think? Oh, that guy. A bit more grumpy face. Grumpy face with blue lipstick, apparently. It's weird how, like, you know, they're all painted really well. And then this this guy is just kind of painted okay. Do you know what I mean? This wasn't the studio's paint job. Maybe they just had to quickly bash him out, like, you've got two fucking hours before we're photographing models. <laughs> get it. Yeah. Get it done. Because, like, that's done beautifully. Hmm. Are there any other pre-order pre things on this list? Uh, some of the old Inquisitors are coming back. None of the good Inquisitors are coming back, though. There's some fucking amazing old Inquisitors. The, like, the Witch Hunter hat one. Yeah. Was really good. Yeah, I didn't really like these two, and I was never a fan of this guy. No, he was definitely the worst one. Like, just so static. So kind of, like, boring. Yeah. Uh, He's still out. Oh. Like, where? Which ones am I thinking of? Uh, Apparently there's some. This guy? He's cool? Yeah, that guy's classic. Uh, oh, Cortez is great. Cortez is a great fucking model. Look at him. What a, what a badass. Fucking boss. Uh, oh, this guy? that version, yeah. He's cool. He's hard to get, apparently, now. He was like a limited edition. Just, it's an ace-looking plasma pistol. Yeah, it's like an elongated dueling pistol or something. And him pointing, you know, accusing someone. Yeah. Very cross. Jacques Yours. Oh, that is one of my least favorites as well. <laughs> that guy just fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, he's very, I don't know, he doesn't look sinister enough, does he? He looks like he's trying to be like Roman. He's just too much of a big, beefy Chad boy. Like, they just, <laughs> yeah. don't, they just don't care for it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You want your Inquisitors to be, like, old and mean-looking. Mm. That one's not bad. They look pretty, pretty cool. Is that Greyfax or Shadowfax? <laughs> Something like that. Uh... Oh, God, those fucking demon hosts were bad models. They were terrible models. They were so bad. Man, and... The thing is, like, the the potential for a Demon Hulk miniature is through the roof. Yeah. You could make some fucking amazing models on that concept. And they somehow managed to make some of the worst models they've ever made. Yeah. Like, I feel like these should make it into my, like, top ten worst models Games Workshop has ever put out. Mm. They're laughably bad, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like this fucking, like, hand? Well, yeah, because it's meant to be something stretching out of his body, right? But it just looks weird. So bad. Do you remember me praising this model before? Was it praising it because they're some of the worst models? We'll never know. But we've got hope because the new boarding actions have a whole section on agents of the Imperium Ooh. and how they work in the boarding's rules. And it even mentions rules for Arbites. Yeah. So that everyone's pretty sure there's an Arbite kill team coming soon. Yeah, so there was like the silhouette that looked a lot like, um, like an Arbite. Mm. I would fucking love like Inquisitorial agents to get a bit of an update. Mm. It's one of yeah, my favorite really things. Cool. There's just not enough Looks nice. Not enough out there. Anywho. Uh, big news, sort of. They're talking about the old world again. It's the six monthly time to talk about that thing that. Do I have. Are there any pictures of like an army or a battlefield or anything? No. Okay. A couple so of bits of artwork. Flagellants and there's. They're nice Empire. bits of artwork, but. There's more Empire. It's just basically saying, the Empire's different. This is when there was a civil war and more than one Emperor. So there you go. When's that? With 
It's just before Magnus the Pious. Oh, so before the big chaos invasion. Yeah. And yeah, so there's the Empire's having a civil war at that stage because everyone's like, I want to be the Emperor. Yeah. I want to be the Emperor. Exactly. then Chaos is like, those guys <laughs> are idiots. <laughs> yeah. Let's all invade. It's our time to strike. And then they're like, Magnus the Pies, you, you be you, the you emperor. could be the emperor. <laughs> and then he says, I will hand back these emergency powers. <laughs> yes, I shall return <laughs> the power. <laughs> as soon as this crisis has ended. Uh, and uh, Blamo <laughs> then, well, you know, helps to kind of like stabilize um, the empire after that. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, I think it's a cool time to set the old world. It's different. We'll have some different characters and different things going on. Yeah, although is it just so that you can sell three boxes of Imperial troops and that's all that's going to be released for the first three years because you're just going to play Empire Civil War? Oh, God, I hope not. Is that... Fucking hope not, Tom. Oh, my red and yellow handgunners shoot at your white and blue oh. handgunners. <laughs> No. Oh, my green and white handgunners coming from the side. Blammo. Oh, but my Hockland spearmen <laughs> get plus one initiative. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, but. <laughs> so, fancy Horus Heresy, honestly, it's a bit. Oh, my God. Get your upgrades. It's time for the Avalander's head sprue. <laughs> oh, my God. It will literally be <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, here's my Reichland shoulder pads. Oh, God, yeah. Well, it'll be head sprues and shield sprues, right? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You, you're... <laughs> I, I don't think... I don't think <laughs> you're... Uh, I don't think you're a million miles away. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. I bet that's going to be a thing. Yeah. Problem is, when you're launching a whole... If you're going to redo a whole world with dozens of armies and things... Yeah. You, I mean, it's going to take five years before you have some a book for everyone, right? Um, let alone models. Like, holy shit. How long is it going to be before I can play with my lizard men? A thousand years. It'll be one of the last things they do. Yeah, they're not going to be out for a while. You know, basically it's going to be orcs... Dwarves, humans, and chaos for the first five years. No, you've got to get some stupid fucking elf faction. Yeah, there'll there. be smells in there too, okay. And Kislev are one of the first things they previewed, so they're yeah. probably going to be... Well, I guess that'll be the narrative, wouldn't it? Kislev versus chaos. So just anyone in the new world, get fucked. Suck it. Suck it. Uh... Mm. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Total War Warhammer order? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Orcs vs. Empire should be the start. It's like a, it is a classic. It is classic. And it is before the Chaos Invasion. So maybe it won't be so t- totally Chaos-centric. Um... Okay. There is one weird line in here. Oh. Uh, it's important to remember, though, that even though the setting is returning, these events still happened, and the old world was destroyed. The end times have been long foreshadowed in the background of Warhammer Fantasy Battle. So they're saying, "Don't get your, don't get your fucking hopes up, you old nerds." It's still, they, we still did the end times. We're not undoing it. The end times were still great. <laughs> and it's still canon. We're not, we're not retconning it. <laughs> yeah. So what is it now going to be like a diverging timeline? No, I think it's like a historical reenactment kind of situation. So, sure. um, but you know that means in another twenty years they get to end times it all again. Hooray! <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. I wonder if they can bring Kragnos into the end times. Oh. That's the only thing the end times was really missing. Because he was there all along. He was always there. But, you know, just they didn't write as much about him. So when Kragnos appears, great. But then, obviously, every time a Kragnos rises, so too does the Kremlo descend. Oh, Kragnos comes out of the ground, and Kremlo comes from space. Yeah, yeah. And the two, like... <sighs> 
o- opposite forces. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the world, the world will end <laughs> as, as beneath the heels of these two titans oh of my Warhammer. God. Kragnos versus Kremlo, the greatest, <laughs> greatest heroes. Uh, so with with them, uh, actually, you know, they're remaking. Um, they do that print on demand stuff. Yeah. How many how many people do you think would have to fucking at Games Workshop to get them to print on demand Kremlo? And the Adventures of Kremlo box set. <laughs> There's no way they still have the molds. Surely. Yeah, but they might. Because, uh, like, they, Rob, those old m- silicon molds would have degraded by now. Oh, right? geez. Yeah, they would have, like, literally f- <laughs> turned to dust oh. <laughs> at this stage. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then they could just grab a Kremlo miniature off someone who has one and stick it in a fun Castatron 5000. Nice. We've still got that thing kicking around. <laughs> yeah, great. It's <laughs> yeah. not going to come out any worse than any of their other fine car stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. is Grumlo the same as Kleppy the Great? Yeah, yeah. It's just when I forgot his name. And, uh, <laughs> it's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. Just different, different pronunciation. He's known by many names. Yeah, that's Grumlo. You know. Uh, uh, but yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's try and get them to bring Should we Kremlo start a back. Change.org petition. Bring back Kremlo. I think, want Kremlo to return. If we get all the Vod Goblins to sign it, there's like 20,000 Vod Goblins out there. Okay. If we could get 20,000 signatures <laughs> <laughs> on a Bring Back Kremlo. Because even, know- <laughs> even if they don't bring him back uh, as the original model, which is what I'd like, I'd like them to. Do you want do a, that. like an amazing reimagining of him stood on a massive rock? If they can do a reimagining, uh, yeah, of him on like a broken lizardman temple, <laughs> yeah. you know, like they they updated the um, Sly Marbo model and yeah. he looked a lot better. Yes. And so, Kramlo stood there, his head on a dead like saurus or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I, w- I still want that pose. That's, that's also the <laughs> yeah. weird Is he going to look expression. more slanny though? Or is he still going to look like an old slan, or like a new slan? He, I want him to look like the old slan. It's kind of skinny. I don't think the big, the big fat slan suddenly wearing like a Norse jerkin is going <laughs> to yeah. make any sense. Uh, yeah, Ooh. I want that. But you know what would happen? We'd get twenty thousand signatures, and then like two years later, they'd make it. I mean, they wouldn't, but let's say they did. Um, and then we'd be like, oh, they did the thing. All right, well, I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm bored of this now. We yeah. hate Crumlin now. Yeah. yeah, now we're all about Mecha Blorco, and he's our favorite guy. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, we're the worst. It's so fickle. I don't. I think we just... We would stop thinking Kremlo was cool if Games Workshop actually did him. Oh, yeah, you're right. They'd ruin him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd hate that. Don't ruin Kremlo. Please, don't ruin Kremlo, <laughs> Games Workshop. <laughs> Let's make a new petition, change.org. Never do- Never return. Uh, uh, <laughs> Never go back. <laughs> yeah. uh, just in case anyone is unfamiliar with Kremlo, which at this stage... Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kremlo came from space. <laughs> <laughs> We're not logged in here. No. That's just what comes up that's when you type what in appears Because apparently that's what most people are fucking typing. I love that. You did it. Amazing. You broke Google. Good you job. Beautiful Vod Goblin. Good fucking job, everybody. <laughs> Kremlo, he came from space. <laughs> I love that. Kremlo came from space. I love that picture. His weird space suit. Kremlo, the slam two coming. <laughs> Kremlo, just what a fucking guy. What a guy. <laughs> what is this? What does this mean? Oh. Aaron, <laughs> than Aaron's Kremlo enjoy it. Love it. <laughs> Kremlo, what a guy! But this, mm-hmm. this is this is Kremlo. Mm-hmm. This guy, it's the original guy. What's uh, the um, galaxy brain, Kremlo? <laughs> <laughs> Reading black library books for army uh, and army codices. Browsing one where he's looking at grim dank memes, watching Tom and Ben's Lawhammer or Yulhammer videos. Perfect, amazing. Um, big fan. <laughs> 
Where was that on? Was that on? I mean, it was a Grim. Oh, it was on Grim Dink. Very cool. Excellent. Oh. Uh, big fan. But yeah, Kremlo. He was raised by the Norsemen. He was. And fought against. Was it like the red, red, crested slan or oh, something? Look at that sad little human they've got on a chain. Yeah. Reverse Kremlin did not have as good a life <laughs> by any means. Oh shit! The human taken and raised by the slab. Yeah, yeah. He's just, not magnificent at yeah, all. Just like Jeff, Jeff the human. <laughs> He's the worst according to the slab. Oh, uh, Jeff. Yeah, he's having just they fucking shave him every day. It's a bad time. But they did have uh, like, can we find the the Kremlin? Kremlin miniatures. Uh, the whole. Because they did do like a whole actual set of. Yeah, of like Kremlin's family. The fucking Norse guys and uh, Kremlin was in there somewhere. But there's also. You can get the metal Slan Raiders. Um, <laughs> and I th old Merc. <laughs> old <Just> Merc. <laughs> yeah, it's Old Merc. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, we go. The Magnificent Sven. Oh. Very blurry. Just great. Just great times. Super old school. Uh, pow. Anyway, sorry. Getting so, distracted yeah. by... Really, really just giving us nothing here in this article, as, as per usual on Old World Teasers. It's making me think, when I first saw this link, I was like, ooh, maybe it's coming out this year. But, nah. I feel like they would have given us more info if it was going to come out this year. But we'll see. Maybe. Maybe they will. Maybe not. Oh, well. Sure. We shall see. Sure. Uh, that's all the official Warhammer news. Nice. Um... Uh, while you do us some finding, I'll just read some donations. You had some very generous donations in. Mm. Uh, if you do want to donate, feel free. Um, yes, thank you. We very much appreciate that. Keeps, keeps us going. Very kind. Helps to keep uh, this nonsense alive. Mm. Uh, but, you know, we're not naming units or anything like that. As For the time being, we're just playing um, Tom and Ben Chat Shit. It's yeah. a game. It's a pretty fun game, to be honest. Um uh, Black Sheep. Uh, then it's 30 bucks. Thank you, Black Sheep. And they say Tom 2.0 and Ben Vista. Oh. Uh, I was just catching up, uh, watching last week at 1.5 speed. Made it just in time. Woo. Uh, cheers for the New Year Warhammer. Um, I liked your theme talk. So my theme this year is health. Ah. Uh, but on the way to that, uh, chop me up, please. Merry Klim to all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very clear. Well, thank you, Black Sheep. No one wants very clear. Uh, and Lem. Uh, it's 15 bucks. Thank you, Lem. Thank you. They say, Mom, Dad, hi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not scheduled on Wednesday mornings now. So, of course, Ooh. I can set aside a Land Raider to build and Ooh. slept in. Uh, I'm going to be running a map campaign for Horus Heresy. Ooh. Uh, so I'll ask, where do you draw the lines between fun and realistic mechanics? I would say I want probably 90% fun. Yes. And as long as there's nothing... Uh, realism, I don't think, is important. Especially in Warhammer. Because nothing's fucking realistic or makes any sense at all. Um, but what I would say is 90% fun... But anything that is, like, just makes no sense, like, with internal logic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to represent every single element of the law, because half the law is contradictory. Mm -hmm. But if things are happening that just feel like, hang on, what? Yeah. Like, why, why is this Eldar jet bike the hardest thing to kill in the game? That should be not very tough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, that's where... If yeah, if it just doesn't fit with your your headcanon mm. uh, at all, um, I super super agree with that. But... Uh, but yeah, fun definitely way... Fun and theme are the only things that really matter. 
at the end of the day. As long yeah. as it fits the theme right and it's fun to play. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think so. I think that kind of makes sense. I'm just trying to think of like a good, a good rule that just doesn't doesn't fucking work. Like something that happens in the game that you're just like, not really how I imagine it. Oh, it happens all the time. Uh, I can't think of a specific example. But yeah. Um, oh, you know when like flamethrowers were the best AA guns in expansion. Oh, oh, love it. All planes were minus one to hit. Yeah, yeah. Which made my plasma guns explode for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now my plasma guns explode on ones and twos because back then that counted. But then my flamers... Actually, pretty legit at taking down aircraft. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, that one. <laughs> and But yet my like Hydra guns shit at taking down aircraft. <laughs> so weirdly, yeah, I remember that. Having hellhounds shooting down Alex's uh, Dark Eldar, whatever they, they're called, Plane his things. planes. Yeah. <laughs> and turns out they were fucking great at it. <laughs> yeah. Super dumb. Fucking hated that. Um, I'm not sure what else. There's a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, larger units being more susceptible to morale. It more, you're more likely to have people running away from a large unit than a unit that could have been wiped out to just like the last three people. And actually, of those people left, they're more likely to stay. Is something that is just just yeah. an aspect. Uh, all all the morale stuff doesn't make sense in Warhammer for me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so if you're running a map campaign, honestly, I think go for what is more fun, mm-hmm. uh, and then then change uh, some some stuff for theme. Yeah, I agree. Uh, unless you know, unless everyone's like, "Hooray!" Shooting down that plane was the coolest thing ever with my flamethrower. <laughs> and if everyone agrees, then fuck it. Stick with the thing that you know, guess, you're yeah. more fun with. Yeah, don't let us tell you you're having fun wrong. If you're genuinely enjoying that, f- fill your boots <laughs> at the end of the day. But our version of fun is correct. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Um, what other stupid things are there? Oh, like if you blow up your own tank with its plasma gun, then your troops can jump out and charge. Oh, shit. I remember that. Like you weren't allowed to drive rhinos up, jump out and charge. That wasn't allowed in the rules. But if you drove your rhino up and accidentally it exploded, Mm. then your guys could charge. Yeah, because wasn't there the the mechanic of Chaos Space Marine rhinos could have a plasma gun on them? Yeah. And they speed up the table, rapid fire the plasma gun or whatever, overcharge mm-hmm. it, so on a one or two, it'll explode. Mm-hmm. Sure, you might lose a corn berserker or two, but you can turn one assault. And if you've got four of these loaded with corn berserkers, one you of can them's definitely exploding. charge. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super dumb. Very dumb. dumb. Uh, and Scary Spy Crab. It's 15 bucks. Thanks for Scary Spy Crab. Say, hi, Tom and Ben. First time I've caught, caught the stream live, but oh. I recently watched your Dark Time Vault and it persuaded me to get it. Mm. Now I'm sinking too many hours into it. So it help. Ah. I haven't played any since, actually. Yeah. Give it another go. I haven't had a chance. Mm. We should play some. We should play some together. We should. Yeah, team I didn't up. enjoy playing on my own. We should team up. Yeah, playing with other people. Much more fun. Much better. I agree. Mm. Very good. Mm. Nothing's changed since Christmas, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. Very good. Very oh, good. Uh, we'll do one more, and then we'll do uh, some looking at things. Okay. Uh, here's story, heroically average. Uh, mm. It's 10 bucks, the heroically average. Thank you. Is a Tom and Ben. I just moved to the UK from Australia. Ah, uh, good day. And very excited to be here live for the first time. Uh, keep up the great work. And if you would, could you give a shout out to my friend, a true gobbo in every way, uh, Sige? Sige. Good day, Sige. Sige. Yeah, beautiful gobbo. Uh, cheers, lads. Much love. Uh, shout out to you, Sige. Shout out. You've been shouted out. <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> We've got them. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Thank you, Historically Average. 
blammo, we did it. Heroically average. I started saying historically average and then realized... Oh, I'm that's an idiot. a different word. It's different, just different <laughs> fucking words. Uh, yeah, just bad, just bad at fucking reading. That's all right. Uh, okay, should we look at some... Uh, yeah. What was the oldest one that we the did oldest not look one? At? I can't remember if we looked at this or not. Yeah, I think we did, actually. Oh, I remember, because I remember remarking on how much I liked their um, garbage bags. bags. Yeah, that's quite nice detail, actually. Okay, we okay. looked at that one. So we didn't look at this one. Uh, it's a Batman. It's a Batman. I quite like a, a tattered all up Batman. That's kind of fun. Someone punched his shoulder shirt yeah. open. Do you like long, long ear Batman or short ear Batman? Or medium, medium ear Batman? Just whichever, like... I'm if, you, if you had to pick, that that's what Batman has to look for, like, forever. Sure, do the long ear one. Like, the long ear one looks cool there, mm. but the, the hunch really helps. The hunch makes a big difference, yeah. Uh, but normally, I don't know, I think the ears are kind of goofy. <laughs> As opposed to the rest of it. Yeah. I, I, I quite like it when he's obviously wearing cloth. You know, like, the armoured Batman suit, I think, is less fun. Yeah, but what about when you've got those goons? But he's, he's a sneaky boy, isn't he? I don't I don't know. The moment he's wearing like fucking power armor, he's, yeah. I find him a lot less interesting. Also, why does no one shoot him in the face? <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're going to wear power armor, do the full Iron Man thing. Yeah, right? yeah. Otherwise, you like, don't care how strong your jawline is, it's not stopping a bullet. Yeah, when someone fucking starts just shooting you in the mouth. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, is it Rhino? I like Rhino. Rhino's cool. That's pretty cool. He was one of my favorites when I was a kid. It's a shame we never got to see the Paul Giamaggi Rhino. Yeah, he just gets fucking murdered, right? Well, it's like the end of the movie is him being like, I'm the Rhino! And then Spider-Man's like, I'm gonna stop you, and then cut to black. Yeah. Like, you never even see them fight. But isn't it, like, hinted that Andrew Garfield, like, fucking kills him? Really? Uh, yeah, because it's after Gwen Stacy's dead, and he's oh. like, "I stopped pulling my punches." <laughs> yeah, and like once you rip open the iron, the rhino suit, because that's like mecha rhino suit. He's just yeah, like, he's "Fuck just, you!" <laughs> blam, punches him once in the head, and his just head just fucking Shit. explodes. So I think before it fades to black, he's about to spin a manhole cover into him. Do you think he's just going to de decapitate him oh, with that manhole cover? Yeah, Jesus Christ! Yikes! I, yeah, you're right. Put two and two together in front of. Hundreds and hundreds of people who are watching. He <laughs> yeah. definitely fucking kills him. Shit, just like evil Captain America in that TV show. Yeah. He just like fucking ices a dude with the shield. Oh, where would evil Captain America be from, Ben? Which is the most evil country? America. Okay. He is. He's an American Captain America. Oh, you know the okay. um, uh, new Captain America cuts guy head off. Um... <laughs> like he just fucking what is this guy's name uh, is it Walker someone Walker this guy yeah he's just like I'm the Captain America now dickheads and then he just rips this guy's head off with the shield oh and everyone's there taking photos of him oh with his you know really really unflattering helmet he looks like an awkward cosplay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, what is this? Is, what, is this a TV show? Yeah, or? it's like a Marvel TV show. After Captain America, like, spoiler alert, um, doesn't come back from Endgame, um, the American government's like, the, you, this here. Is, here, it's a new Captain America. Oh. Everyone loves him. Oh, um, I, didn't, I didn't see it. It wasn't a great show. You didn't miss much, apart from this. Well, it was pretty, some pretty nice fucking fucking head off. Yeah, and just everyone stood there with their phones going, <gasps> Okay. Um, oh. Anyway, I'm not sure how we got into that. Just the classic Tom Ben uh, <laughs> detour. <laughs> uh, are these guys more sort of undead Roman boys? They're kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Mm. They're all right. Um, TJ, I don't know if you're still there. Can I get the music like turned down or changed? I think I'm going a bit, a bit insane. 
Um, got more of these boys. Chaos guy, mouth Ooh. face. Man, that Eldar. And They're not having the best. <laughs> they're not day. having a good time, are they? Oof. Um, that's great. Thank you, man. So, all right. I guess these guys are going to be like Night Lordsy, because they've got some bat wings and some shells. Sure. Shells. They're nice. Yeah, if you're into Night Lords, you're probably probably into these guys. No, it's not my favourite. No, me neither. I definitely don't want to paint all those lightning bolts. No, and it's, so, it's so easy to make them look like... Like Crimson Fists or something. Or just like, just you know, like Scooby-Doo villain Space Marines. Uh, yeah. Like, they're very, like, we're Space Marines going out for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I have seen them done, painted really, like, grimdark, real nice. But... I want to see, like... Normally. I've never seen, like... They're normally just kind of cartoony. I'd love to see some real grimy ones. Um, but, I don't know. Never seen one. He's kind of good. He looks pretty good. That's pretty nice. Because hmm. uh, I imagine them like being quite cool, but like like you say, they are always a little cartoony in, in reality. I think it's like the... The the blue and the lightning bolts and the the red and the bat wings. Yeah, I think less bat wings probably would help. Yeah, I don't think the <laughs> bat wings is a great look. It's like this guy's just the dumbest. Don't love him. Don't love him at all. Uh, that's quite fun. Oh, that looks like a Night Lord cultist to me. Hmm. But yeah, if you don't do the lightning bolts, they just look like Crimson Fists or Ultra. Yeah, yeah. They? Yeah, I don't know. Hard one to do well, I think. I wouldn't want to try and do Night Lords. Mm. <laughs> okay. Classic. It's got meat face on their meat face. face. You could do them all up as like Texas Chainsaw Massacre guys. That'd be nice. But yeah, just not finding any. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is like Le Miserable. Yeah. Minis. Okay. Mm. A little little house. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we didn't guess. Shit. Oh well. Tank. <laughs> oh, you win. <laughs> uh. Uh, right, Kickstarter Roulette, the main event. Well, we might need to go on a break and then come back and do Ooh, Kickstarter Roulette. Oh, that's a good idea, because it is break time. I um, notice. But yeah, we'll be back. We'll be reading the uh, more of your messages. Yes. Um, Please send us some more questions and some dumb scenarios. That would be fun. Uh, that is always, always great. Um, mm. And yeah, we'll be playing some Kickstarter Roulette, um, mm. doing all, all kinds of fun. Uh, so, you know, work out what you want to vote for. Mm. And we will see you very soon. See you in five. Goodbye. It's a runaway train! Ben, 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 Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Uh, no, we're not. We're not going down the whole, whole route. Ah, oh, what the fuck is this green cola about, Tom? It's green cola, Ben. Green cola. It's getting green screened out, obviously. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, I'm confused. Mm. Kind of into it. It tastes like. You know, how I imagine cola from a like a nineteen twenties confectioner's store yeah. taste or something. I don't know if it's just the green on the can putting the thing in my brain, but it tastes kind of like it's kinda of got some green in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it like if it was like a panda pop, it would be yeah. bright green. <laughs> Literally like it's got that slight bitterness that you get like in green vegetables. Yeah. It's not well, that's what I want in my fizzy pop. I kind of, I kind of like it. 
kind of into it. Do you remember green ketchup? I do remember green ketchup. I never tried it, though. I thought it was like a travesty, but yeah. I did want to try it out. Did you ever try the old green ketchup? No. I think it was one of those marketing campaigns where they know people are going to hate it and they're going to switch it back, and then that will give them like a big boost. But also, you just you buy it out of curiosity. And yeah, then... you get the novelty, and then you get the big relief when it comes back. Yeah. Like, do you remember um, Cocoa Pops changed their name to Choco Krispies? And everyone's like, I'd rather have a bowl of Choco Krispies. <laughs> I don't, but... And then, like, six months later, they were like, yeah, all right. We'll okay, it. we're going back to Cocoa Pops. <laughs> yeah. we're, go we're doing this thing. Uh, okay, right. Do you want to do a... Mm -hmm. Do a thing. Oh, I did just see one that I was like, that sounds ace. Oh, classic movie monsters. That sounds... What, what's the worst color for ketchup? I'm going to say black. Maybe. Uh, at Halloween, they did black mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Um, but they did it using, apparently using black garlic, which oh. uh, is sort of like a like fermented garlic. Mm-hmm. Which is actually really nice. It's really good. Oh. Um, highly recommend. Okay. Uh, mm. Blue. I, I think, think blue. Bl blue is, feels like quite an unnatural... It is an unnatural uh, colour, but like I like things that are blue. Like, um, you know, the blue ice cream, blue bubble gum, blue sweets. They, they're good. I've got a good association with tasting blue things. But isn't it, it's like one of the more fake... It's definitely fake, for sure. Uh, blue milk. Mm. I like the taste of blue. Blue ice cream. Yeah. You never had a blue ice cream? It's good. No food in nature is blue. What about blueberries? Oh, I think you'll find they're actually azure. That's a kind of blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> to the layman, maybe. <laughs> Blueberries are not purple, you fucking maniacs. Oh my god, what chat is... Everyone's on the purple train. They're dark blue. They're not called purple berries, are they? Blue. Like there, I'd say that's pretty blue. Hmm. They're like Night Lord's blue. Yeah. Wow, look at those. Even more blue. Sure. I feel like that's been photoshopped. I don't think I've ever seen any. <laughs> any that really pop that much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what uh, purple berries comes up with. See, that's a purple berry. That is a purple berry. You're right. Like blackberries are purple. I'll give you that. Mm, they are. That's true. They're very dark purple. Yeah. But if you like smush one. Hmm. They'll leave purple stains. Yeah. Not black stains. Uh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> if the sky and the sea are blue, how can nature not be blue? <laughs> wow. <gasps> Two of the most natural things in the world. That's so true. Mmm. So true. Uh, lobsters are blue and you can eat them. Some lobsters, yeah, are blue. True. Is it true that lobsters age backwards? Is that a thing I heard? I heard a thing like that. Uh, but they get old, and then they get young, and then they get old, and then they get young. They do a thing. Oh, shit, look they, at this. If you search up blue foods, <laughs> blueberries are number one. <laughs> number one. Also, apparently blackberries. Blue tomatoes? I want to see a blue tomato. Blue oh, God, I hate that. The blue strawberries look really wrong. I don't think... Oh, that's like a visceral reaction. They look incredibly unpleasant. Oh, I don't know if I hate it. Thank you. There's that blue ice cream for everyone who's like, what the fuck? Food coloring from red cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's not well named. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is a fucking mess. <laughs> uh, wow. Was he a blue lobster? Can we, can we Google a blue tomato? I need to know what that is. Blue. Uh, what color is it going to be? Is it going to be blue? Probably not. Uh, but there'll be some photoshops on here where people have just recolored a tomato. Won't there? See, I say that's purple. purple. That's definitely purple. 
I guess if you compare it to a regular tomato... It's got more blue in it's it. It's definitely got more blue in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, I never even knew these existed. Blue tomato. They sell shoes, apparently. Oh. Huh. Mm. The more you okay. know. Uh, we'll start to roulette. Okay, I already chose classic movie monsters. Oh, that, sounded, that is a winning choice. Well sounded done. great. Roulette dice. Ooh. Because it's Kickstarter roulette. My middle mouse button does not open link anymore. So, oh, I want to see quite a few of these just out of curiosity more than winning. Nuns with Lasguns 2, the nunnening. <laughs> the nunnening. Pretty good. It does sound great. Raiders of the Kraken Cult sounds good. Oh, that does sound good. Carnage cars and weapons for auto combat games. Oh, that's pretty appropriate. That's very appropriate. Spawn of a Dreamer, Dreamer sounds good too. Ooh. There's some good. Um, the City of Asmont might be fun. Oh, there's a lot to choose from. Lord of Lost Souls might be good. Uh, we're getting a lot of the Women's College of Wizardry from chat, so All that right. could be theirs. That's the chat's pick. Okay, what do you want? They'll not be sexy. We'll, we'll have words after this. Uh, okay, I just want to see that one out of curiosity, but... I want to see Raiders of the Kraken Cult. Uh, I was half thinking maybe just even picking that. Oh, you, can, you can have it as a, a thing. Okay. Right. Do you have a second pick? What was... Uh... Oh, roulette dice. Yeah. Raiders of the Kraken Cult. Do you want that to be yours? Sure. Is there any other... There's a lot on here that sound like they might be interesting rather than fun. Yeah. I want to see what Spawn of the Dreamer is as well. Spawn of the Dreamer. I'll go with that as my other choice. Blam. Uh, okay, we'll start out with Classic Movie Monsters. Oh, wow, they really are. That's exactly what I had in mind when people mentioned that. I assumed... They were going to be shitter sculpts. <laughs> yeah. I, what, like old, like 80s lead Like Ralph style. Harper. Yeah. Like, wow. like just kind of doughier. But yeah. these actually look pretty good. Father. Oh. Uh, there's a wolf, wolf man. Oh, the oh, fly. It's He's a bug, fun. bugman. I like him a lot. The others are kind of generic, but that's, that's cool. Oh, Nosferatu. Mm. I do like a Nosferatu vampire. It's a classic. Uh, the mummy. It's looking pretty good. Mm, good mummy. No. Uh, the thing. Little hand thing. Uh, oh. Nice. He's swimming. Fishman. That's kind of weird if you've got him on the table for a role playing game. Yeah. Not sure I love the underwater style. Uh, but they're all. Wow. There you go. You know, pretty cool. Okay, roulette dice. Ooh, these are exciting. How do they work? Let's find out. Okay. Come on. It doesn't even look like a dice. It's like a spinner. It looks like the, what's that thing called? The an anthleometer. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about spinners and compared to dice? It's not a dice. Serves the same function. How do you feel about a swirler? An Atlantean <laughs> swirler. Uh, once again, it's a number generator, <laughs> yeah. but it's not a it's not a fucking dice, is it? How does it work? It doesn't look like it. I think you spin the bottom bit, and then what? whatever it lands on, your D four, D six, D twelve. Right, but are there a series of like cogs in there to stop it being like a direct analog of your movement? Because otherwise, it'd be real easy to like. Get what you wanted. Well, I guess you got to whoosh, whoosh, spin That's it. why you need a series of cogs to make it so it doesn't. It's not just a spinner where you every millimeter you move it with your thumb moves it one millimeter. But I think if you spin and so it just keeps spinning and oh, then okay. it will randomly stop. Oh uh, yeah, so it needs bearings there. and stuff in it to keep it spinning. Wow, see look how much that spins. Okay. Okay, seeing it spin that much, I'm actually a little more on board with it. Yeah, because I was worried that it wouldn't spin very much and it would be like uh, slow and shit. I think I think it's cool. Having like a flywheel in there to keep it spinning. That's amazing. 74,000. God, fucking nerds will spend any amount of money on dice, won't they? Yeah. 
says man with massive dice. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's like you know, that's a, a little How bit. How much local. are they? Thirty nine bucks. That's not as much as I thought it would be. Forty nine bucks for an early bird. Are they are they not made of metal? They must be. I feel like that's cheaper than I thought they would be for made of metal. Really? Actually, kind of cool. I kind of want one. I kind of want one. As it well. is metal, all metal. Which one would you go for? Like normally, I'm not like very into gold at all, yeah. but I I actually quite like. I'd probably have the bronze one, I think, mm. or the silver one. I think they're actually kind of red. There's brass, the brassy one. Brass one. I like the brass one. Sounds nice. I think I could take or leave the uh, the little gems. In. Yeah, I don't love the gems. They look kind of cheap and stuck on. Uh, ooh! What's the little UFO boy? Rocket dice? Yeah, I guess there's just a... Uh, is that a D20? I guess. D10? D12? They're kind of, kind of rad. Wow. Wow. Oh, uh, I guess, like, you can, like, s hit stop to get your number. Yeah, but that's that's called cheating. I guess you could turn it upside down, spin it, stop mm. it, flip it back over, if you wanted to do it quickly. So what does it do? It does... Oh, it's on t it's double-sided. Oh, even better. Four, wow. six, and twelve on one side, eight, ten, and a hundred on the other. Oh, shit. I'm kind of fucking on board now. Oh, for doing a D100, I like that. Yeah. Although everyone, at the t if you're doing a role-playing game, everyone waiting for your fucking spinner to stop is going to get annoyed, aren't they? <laughs> it would suck. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a very dramatic moment. I'm going to use my spinner. <laughs> Do cast spell. Whee! Oh, fuck me. And when you're like, cool, I'm going to do um, uh, whatever. What's that basic just fucking D&D &D blast spell uh, where you have to do like, oh, it does three, 3d6 three damage, <laughs> sonic blast or whatever it is. Yeah. First one. <laughs> well, that's why you buy three of them. And you oh, <laughs> okay. And you spin them all. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Uh, holy shit. Oh, should we get one for Lewis? So you can give it to Wheelboy as a wheel present. Boy. Wheelboy doesn't deserve presents. <laughs> uh, you could get one for yourself and taunt Wheelboy with it. With my, my own spinner. Yeah, but then I become a Wheelboy as well. <laughs> oh, no. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. You know what? Kind of into it. I kind of like them. Uh, right. Raids of the Kraken cult. They look ace. Ah, oh, they've got tentacle faces. Tentacle face. That is what I was hoping for. Tentacle face with a harpoon, pretty good. I think they'd have a bit more um, like detail on them. These are literally just cult robes with tentacle faces. Well, uh, I'm I'm kind of into it. Yeah, kind of like them. Blammer. <laughs> Fucking Luger as well. Oh, Tommy Gun. Yeah, you doing a Cthulhu? Getting some of these boys be quite funny. I think they're rad. They are cool. Oh, there's a throne. Oh, there's a big eyeball. Blah, on the floor. But mm -hmm. Okay. Great. They're fun. I like then them. Then, Spawn of the Dreamer. <laughs> That's not... I was not expecting chibi Cthulhu's. <laughs> is not what I was thinking either. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. They're bizarre. Is there a market for this? Yeah. What people wanted? I'm not saying they're bad, I just... I don't get it. They're cute. They're, they are cute. <laughs> Brickfrog says Cthulhu. Oh no, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Cthulhu? And what's the carnage stuff? This stuff looks great. Yeah. I was hoping something, something a bit more unique though, because there's a lot of this already I've seen in the world. A lot of it. Uh, but it looks great. Looks real cool. Yeah, it's a good one of these sets. There are hundreds of these sets. So yeah. I was hoping they'd have something to set themselves apart a bit. Uh, but they look super rad. And Chat's Choice, uh, the Woman's College of Wizardry. Mm. Fucking oh hell, Chat! Oh my god, Chat! Come on. Uh, what the heck? It, they, we didn't even scroll down for it. It's no. There at the top. <laughs> we can't scroll down. No, if it starts like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit. You... 
We, we will have words after the stream. For chat. shame. For shame. Uh, okay. Well, I kind of think that probably the roulette dice. We have the, 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 the gun nunnering. Uh, oh, not pick you want to the see end. the gun nunnering. Uh, the oh, nunnering somewhere. near the bottom. There we go. Nuns with last guns, number two. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> Literally just guard squads in nun form. Yeah. You think they'd paint them black and white, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, wow. They've got like heavy weapons and tanks. Oh, I'm more interested in the tanks. Tanks actually pretty cool. I like the little church tanks. And the arty is kind of fun. Oh, yeah. The pipe organ artillery piece. Okay. <laughs> oh, the giant cross is the banner. <laughs> pretty good. There's a spooky ghost for some reason. <laughs> Why? Why is that there? Hang on. Those little donkey rough riders? Donkey rough riders. <laughs> I'm just hoping we get a better picture of those guys because donkey rough riders are the best. No, I think they're just showing pictures of every other. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Every other thing they've ever made ever. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, these started off as a bit meh, but then got much more exciting uh, as we went along. Yeah, what we're looking at is. Donkey Rough Riders, <laughs> who are sort of rad. Oh, what's the nun sitting down up to? Do they go into a tank or something? Oh, probably. No idea. Is that a wizard nun? The one next to the ghost? A s nun psyker, maybe? Oh, I like the officers with the power fist. Okay. They look kind of stupid. Pretty. Oh, that's an evil dead nun? Amazing. Love it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Yeah, kind of rad. How close are they to hitting their goal? Uh, They've done it. Yeah, great. Good job. Oh, well it's done. Troublemaker Games. They used to do a lot of epic forumware stuff. Oh, okay. And some of the stuff we have is from that guy. Okay. I think I know who you might be talking about. Uh, very good. Well, oh. well done. Well done to you. You've done a good, a good pick. Uh, is that this one that we were looking at? Uh, Some of these other yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, they're kind of cool. Busted old statues. They've got a bit of a, like an Elden Ring vibe, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, what's your prediction? Oh, for Vietnam's. Uh, I predict um, utility tank equipment, like mine clearing plow, giant searchlight, Ooh, that's um, good. whip aerial. Oh, nice. All that kind of shit. I'm just going to go with crates. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're kind of cool, kind of weird, kind of creepy. I sort of like that vibe. Yeah. I love a, a statue come to life. Yeah. It's a fun trope. Kind of spooky. Oh, that guy looks great. Oh, yeah, good warrior priest. I like uh, him. Very nice. Uh, there you go, oh. some alternate space dwarves for you. Space dwarf berserkers, they look really mm. good. They're much nicer than the um, official ones. Yeah. I like them. Oh, they're very, very cool. Mm. Uh, there's a... Spider boy. Spider, Spider boy. Woman. And... Is that like... Punisher with the spawn or something? That's um, Agent Venom. So, like, the Venom symbiote but gets, like, hired by the U.S. government okay. to be a secret agent. Right. And so he's he's Venom, but... I have no bang, memory bang. Sure. Uh, and then the Star Wars big, big game. Yeah, big Star Wars. Is. <coughs> okay. I mean... I like, like the, now, a way to do Roger Rogers without having to make a hundred of them. Yeah. I like that. I still kind of think, like, if I was going to play this, I'd want to just play it at the 20, 28 mil. Little, little scale. Be yeah. cheaper and easier. Wouldn't have to get new scenery for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. One pack of battle droids will um, get you more than you'll ever need. Yeah, great. Just build a whole load of them. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Oh, they're nice. Uh, cool. Just like Elysian drop troops. Mm. Pretty good. Uh, War Priest! He's alright. He's got a weird Pope hat. Sure. I like that. I like a good good Pope hat. Oh, yeah. Uh, a fight boy. Oh, he's great. Wow. Solar Macarius is like 
that looks exactly like the artwork. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that's great. I like him a lot. Uh, little... Little tinies. Little mans. And mm, it's, a, it's a tank. It's a Soviet, Soviet fighting vehicle. Okay. Uh, There's a lot of them. Oh, I'm just going to get straight on uni block. Okay. <laughs> Kobolds and mechanical gnomes. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> great. That's a great one. Uh, uh, and... So... Uh, Wastelands Highway. Perfect. Hmm. Can you scroll up a bit? Oh. Chat's chosen, uh, Turnip 28. Oh, is that a thing on here? Apparently. What? I missed that completely. Uh, Turnip. Oh, there yeah, shit. I don't normally look at the company name. Yeah, I only look at the yeah. back there. I just saw... The forlorn hope, like, that could be fucking anything. Wow. Okay, good fucking call, uh, chat. Modular Mecha Builder, Volume 2. Ooh. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be terrible, but I can't let a mech Great. get past me. Uh, okay. Right. Uni block. Fuck off. <laughs> Tommy, you love hexagons. <laughs> it could have been anything. <laughs> It's so many hexagons. Look, Tom, any anything you can dream of. Now in hex form. Okay. Uniblock system. It's not a winner in my eyes. <laughs> uh, kobolds and mecha gnomes. Oh, I was hoping these were going to be sillier. Uh, okay. They're kind of cute. Oh, the kobolds are really the nice, actually. The kobolds are nice, yeah. I like a kobold. Oh, they got some cav. Just a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff. Tribal goblins. And... Hmm. Oh. They're okay. Okay. Wastelands Highway. Oh. oh. That's just another... Just another Gaslands. Just another Gaslands or Dark Future or any number of those things. They look very nice. But kind of half the fun of that is making your own ones, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess you're buying just a rule set. Oh, right. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, so chat went for turnip. Wow, I wish I'd spotted this. I love the turnip style. Uh, so what are you actually getting here? Uh, Physical. Ooh. Is it these miniatures? Oh, here we go. Heads, bodies, backpacks, arms, some root vegetables, delicious. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a like a grim, dark fantasy, Napoleonic kind of setting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where everyone's got weird turnip helmets. Um, but they look awesome. Yeah, they look really cool. It's just super weird. It's just weird and grim and. It's got a great vibe. It just has its own wacky universe that, mm. yeah, just kind of love. I didn't know they were making their own models. Yeah, so I don't know anything about the rules, if no. it's actually a good game or anything like that, but... I've seen people making warbands and uh, doing some amazing work. Look super fucking good. It's a root bee. Seems like a good pick. Yeah, very solid. Uh, okay, modular mecha builder. Oh, third-party mechs are never great. I'm always disappointed. You want this guy? No. I love this guy. No. He's got. He's got wheel. He's got heelys on. Does he have just one heely? He's got one he heely. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> uh. oh. Fine. Generic Max. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Crotch gun. Crotch gun centaur. <laughs> uh, oh, that one's cool. Oh, that one looks like a Mechanicus boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a real like old school B-movie style. That's kind of fun. I like him. 
I guess the problem with oh, being... I like that. Yeah. That guy's great. But the ones we like are the ones that aren't modular. Oh, yeah, the ones that are like kind of more just designed. Actual design, isn't yeah. it? Rather than just kind of mix and match generic stuff. Oh, well, that's a very familiar... That guy. You want to modular that guy? Hmm. I've seen that before somewhere. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, so, what do you think? Chat probably wins. I think chat probably wins, yeah. Uh, well, well. I'll argue with that. Well done to you, chat. Well done. You've done it's very good. Good, good spotting. Uh, Can we see what six mil sci-fi industrial city is? Yes. Where is it? Down. Down, down, down. Stop. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. I've seen this before. Maybe we've... Yeah, we have seen this before. It's cool, though. Really nice buildings. Very cool. Mm. I'm in. I'm into that. Yeah, you could stick them into your... Um, your one of your tiny towns. My little little cities. Yeah, they look great. They're real nice. Mm. Uh, okay. And then... Uh, predictions for this week. So this is the latest one, but this one was from the 16th of December. So I'm worried... So they're not doing it anymore. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Um, so this may be the end oh. of this format. We'll have to just change it up and get our news from more than just one source. Oh shit. Okay. I'm not looking forward to doing it. Wait, we have to do the work ourselves. <laughs> yeah, rubbish. Um, I'm going to go with um, livestock. Livestock. Oh, far. Vietnamese farmers. Fine. Um, Like, uh, a uh, man drinking from canteen, a uh, mm. uh, fuel carrier, <laughs> uh, right. someone with yeah. like some clippers, like random selection of non non combatant workers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That box. Perfect. Maybe with crates. One day. One day we'll get that. A uh, little, little infinity friend, he's here. Sure, techno, techno boys. Techno boys. Secret agent man, it's kind of cool. Yeah, they're always nice, but... Uh, I don't even know what this what is. Is that like Chibi, Chibi, Chibi Marvels? Marvels? Sure. There's um, a Hypnogriff. Hedwig. Oh, maybe a Hedwig. Dark uh, Troopers. Oh, I like the Dark Troopers. Oh, oh, this guy's just fucking um, pop-up attack bazookering. Yeah, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. uh, that shit was banned years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Uh, but the, the dark troops look great. What the fucking happened to his face? Yeah. That doesn't look like the best sculpt. It does not look like... That's the problem when you're making a sculpt of a person who's a real person. Yeah. It never looks exactly right. Um, Oof. Uh, they're tall, eh? Or is he short? But yeah, they're cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Just bad, bad robo, robo mans. Yeah, bad robos. Got some more nuns with guns. Wait, no, they're like medics. Oh, right. Medics with guns. Very okay. niche. Sure. More Night Lord. Sure. That's fine. And, uh, oh. oh, man getting into half track. That's not what I wanted. And then Vietnam. Oh, <gasps> fuck, I was going to say dogs. dogs. And then I changed my mind to livestock. Oh, oh fuck. Dogs. I almost had it. going to say and then I changed my mind. That's like an eager dog and that's a sad, sleepy dog. Oh, no, maybe that's a very good dog who was told to wait. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh you don't. <laughs> Chat says, eat the dogs, and then call them livestock. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh, shit. Very small list today. Oh, fucking hell. Evil beyond space. Oh, God, that's a good <laughs> opener. That's a really good fucking opener. Not the Maiden of the Thief Fancy Bus. That's a fucking trap if I ever saw one. <laughs> Maids of the Lake. June 1, Tatooine Towers. Oh, God. The Goblin Leader. Is that as your next one? Um, Not. 
What about Myconoid Abominations? Oh, that's great. That sounds... That's Mushroom Man. Oh, okay, let's do that. Okay. Oh, fuck. What does what Okay, want? March of the Weirdos. That's what I'm going for. I oh, find. I didn't see that. Hugo's Hot Dogs. Okay. Great. <laughs> what is chat going for? Chat wants... They haven't said the same thing twice in a row yet. Um... Mm, keep spamming. Ladies of the Lake. Ladies of the Lake. Yeah, of course they'd go for Of course they like did. That. Of course they did. Uh, Can I have a couple of curiosities? People are saying something about skeletons. Yeah, there's um near the top, isn't it? There's skeletons versus Vikings or something. Which could be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at that. I do kind of want to see Tatooine Towers, just to see. Sure. Um... Okay. okay. Evil Beyond Space! Oh. It's a Space Hulk. Okay. Well, that's good timing for boarding actions. Yeah, looks nice. Sure. Cool Space Hulk. God, it's a lot of resin, though, isn't it? There's a lot of bits that you're... Oh, what? Every section is... Oh, fucking hell. Taking a lot of bits. Oh, that's going to take forever to build. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, but looks great, but that's a lot of work. It's a lot of things. Mm. Uh, okay, Mike Noid, Abominations. Blech. Oh, I thought they were going to be a bit goofier. But yeah. They're kind of kind of evil looking. Angry Mushroom People. Is that like a oh. angry mushroom dominatrix? Yeah. And there's like a tiny boy under her. Blech. 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 These are quite, quite creepy bad guys. Yeah. They're a bit like... Muscly and buff. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit more. I'd like mushroom men should look less, more mushroom, less men. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather they were like less humanoid. And just a whole shitload of mushrooms. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect, though. Hmm. I still like that as a cape. Oh, that kind of fun. Some uh, rhinos. Some more things. These guys, that's yeah. what I think of more when I think of a Mushroom Man. Oh, look, it's like a Tom and Ben. Oh, perfect. I love them. And some kind of squigs. And more fight guys. Slightly different poses. They've got, like, Dark Souls mimic vibes. Oh, yeah, I can see a bit of that. They're yeah, okay. Uh, right, March of the Weirdos. Oh, these are good boys. I think I have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They make good like uh, chaos familiars. Yeah, I they? feel like that's exactly what this is. This he's this my fave. one is the fucking best. <laughs> what a good boy! Pretty sure I've won that. Oh, Look at this horrible little fucking <laughs> asshole. Like love him. Oh, just the worst. <laughs> just a gross rabbit monster. I don't monster. want him following me around, Tom. Got a bed. Got the bell together. <laughs> Fuck off. No, we've got Scarf Bell. He summons me with Soul Bell. No, no, man. No. Uh, he's fucking great. If I die, part of your soul dies. If I die, and you die as well, man. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Uh, right, random grumpy uh. rabbit knight. Sure. Do you want this guy as your friend? Oh, no. Why is he here? This guy. Definitely says very inappropriate oh, things does. at the wrong time. And then vomits and shits his pants. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. He's a little oh. prawn boy. A little prawn banner bearer, which I prawn. fucking love. So good. <laughs> Didn't realize I needed that in my life. Uh, oh, oh. ultra fly, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Who's this guy? He's a squid sorcerer. It's a squid sorcerer. Spraying ink and giving you a tentacle hug. Oh, he's got a knife! Watch he's out. got a knife! <laughs> Just blobfish with a fucking knife. Oh, so many weirdos. Okay. Oh, hello. Great. <laughs> oh. Stop it, Tom. You've already won. Oh. <laughs> Fish, Fish warrior. warrior. Oh, my God. These guys just are... just keeps getting better and better. Just the fucking best, aren't they? Oh, this guy's here. He's cool. <laughs> oh, my God. They're all, all so good. Oh, my God. Oh, Skullboy. It's the Skullboy. Everyone's favourite. Oh, man. I still love that, dude. <laughs> uh, He's got no hands. He's got no hands at all. 
<laughs> it's a Tom and Ben. <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic Tom and Ben. Just hanging out. Oh, they even captured your complete face on there as well. <laughs> Did. Wow. My blank slate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, these guys are the best and have won. So. Uh, more. Uh, suck it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I think you win for the next like couple of weeks, to be honest. There's like, your familiar. This will not be topped anytime soon. These guys are fucking great. They're really good. <laughs> um, big fan. Oh. Well done. <laughs> so good, man. Oh God. It's hard to pick who's the, who's how, the best. How have they only made £500? I guess maybe that was one of their targets. Oh, before. shit, is it closed? Did we miss it? Yeah, brought to life. Ended oh, a while ago. Shit. These were great. Really good. Oh, man. Well, do we need to look at the others? Well, well I think we may as well go through oh, with the formality. Oh, oh it's a Bob's, oh. a Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking cool. Uh, Did you ever watch a, Bob, a Bob's I've Burgers? I've not watched a Bob's Burgers yet. Everyone says it's great. I need to oh, get man, I it. fucking love it. Uh, I'm a bit busy watching The Traitors at the moment. Oh, really? Which I have mixed feelings about, but the missus is super into it right now. Oh man, yeah, uh, I've just absolutely binge binge watched it. Mm. Uh, oh shit! Oh man, I actually kind of want that. I'd love to have a little Bob's Bob's Burgers or a Hugo's Hot Dogs <laughs> yeah. on my well, shelf. You could get it, and then you could change the sign in like CAD. Yeah, just make a, a Bob's Burgers. I wonder yeah. if they actually would fucking sell it with a... If maybe it comes with that as an alternative. I think they'd be they missing a advertise. trick if they uh, didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, it looks really fucking cool. Um, wow. That is cool. Uh, and ladies of the lake. Oh, chat. It's not it's too not bad yet. Immediately perverse. Oh. Okay, right. Okay, I'm Getting, we are um, very, we are danger close to danger a nip there. Close. Okay, it? tastefully done so mm -hmm. far. I'll allow it. Okay. Just careful. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's centaur. a centaur. Good job, oh. Chad. Well done. <laughs> you found the centaur. Impressive. There's a little frog fawn. Okay. They're... Like, nice that, skulls. That's a really nice miniature, that one. I like that a lot. More centaurs. Perfect. Uh, well, they're like a lot of these. I picture like you buy them and it would have like a, a big piece of like amethyst stuck <laughs> into the base. You'd get it in one of those stores. That... Yeah. That, that okay, sounds about right. Danger close to nips. Uh, she has plant butt. Oh, wow. Okay, well... Well, yeah, there's is a that, niche here. Is she kissing the... snake or is that snake beard? Oh, or... I'm not sure. Is she eating the snake? Eating snake? Oh, oh looking no. at snake. Looking at snake. Okay. Just weird angle to show it from. Uh, yeah, sadly. <laughs> it's no much of the weirdos, is it? <laughs> it isn't much of the weirdos. <sighs> yeah, you definitely win this. We're not going to see the likes of this for some time. Oh, man, not at all. We haven't looked at Vikings and Skeletons yet. Oh. Vikings and Skeletons! Uh, 80,000 Mexican dollars. Mm. That guy is pretty cool. Yeah. I want to see the Skeletons. Okay. Um, oh. And I don't love, like, elemental Skeletons. It doesn't tickle my uh, funny bone. It's got a real, like, God of War mm. sort of feel to it. Yeah, they're not for me. Uh, I've got quite specific skeleton oh, wow. requirements. They're uh, uh, nice sculpts, but yeah, not... Is that a good score back up a couple? <laughs> it's like gingerbread dragon. Cake, cake dragon. Cake dragon. Amazing. Sure. Why not? Uh, oh, building oh. tortoise. I enjoy a building tortoise. Okay, sure. Well, nice, but once again, uh, is it March of the Weirdos? Nothing is, Tom. Nothing is at all. Oh, man, March of the Weirdos really <laughs> fucking did it, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? The Tatooine Tower? This. Oh, wow. You want this? No. There's a thousand of these. 
Like Kickstarter and Etsy are full of that. Of Tatooines. Mm. Those guys lose. Beyond Space lost. So we have the roulette spinner. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. Uh, turnip. Very cool. And... Yeah. And March of the Weirdos. Wow. So everyone won today. Oh, that's true. I win, chat win, and Tom win. It's a triple... Very That's balanced. Triple. Oh. See, Kickstarter Roulette, very balanced game. It is. Everyone can take part and <laughs> yeah. have some fun. And especially maybe ending on that note, which might be our last one ever. If well, maybe. That is... They might have replaced this with something else. Maybe they've changed what it's called. Okay, well, if you want to have like, a little click around, um, I'll just read out some donations. Oh, perfect idea. So, this is one from Diamond Boots. He says, Tom and Ben, I have money again, so I could donate Ooh, now. Thank you. Well, there was a big update in Final Fantasy XIV. So me and a few friends were doing the new raid on the last boss with less than 50% left. Then the servers crashed. Oh, no. Anyway, have a cool stream. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. Sorry for your loss of the raid. Boo. Uh, and there's three bucks from 2099, who says, Happy New Year, Tem and Bon. Great to see you back, Warhammer. Keep up the great work. You too, Rob. Well, thanks so much, mm. 2099. Thank you. We will see you in s a long time. 76 years. Wow. I'll be dead by then. I won't be. I plan to be. I'll be a uh, mecha, mecha body. <gasps> Uh, Lamashtu! Uh, the next three bucks, you Lamashtu. He's a Spirit Seer Ben and Wraithguard Tom. Ooh. Uh, I took the last week off with the hope that I could make some headway on my hobby hoard. Ooh. But I only managed to build and prime three boxes and finish painting one. Enjoy the elves. That sounds like pretty good progress for, for a week. That is good progress. Well done. Keep uh, that up. It will, you'll be done in no time. Thank you, chat. And these are looking great. They look really good. Oh, very nice. And based. Oh, really good. Very based. I think you should be very, very pleased. Good also, work. if you're taking some time off work, you know, you need some time just to like chill and just kind of veg out as well. Yeah, is important. Uh, and so, you know, just be, be proud of what you've achieved. Hmm. I think you've done excellently. You've done a thing. Thank you so much. Uh, Garviel Loke. Uh, next three bucks. Ooh, hello. They say, greetings, unknown chaos entity Tom and oh. minus one science nerd Ben. A oh, what? <laughs> uh, here's a pic of a little price I made for a quiz at work um, and a angry son of Horus Marine. Oh. Oh. I've got multi-link. Oh, oh that guy looks really cool. Got a very cool base. The base looks great. Mm. Um, the painting's very nice. The skin looks good. Yeah, very nice. Super cool. Good job. And can I extract this link from the rest? Kachow. I'm going to have to get ad blocker on. Uh, oh, you made a little snotling saying ah. you're the winner. He looks fantastic. Oh, he's uh, very cute. Really, really nice. I like the skin tone on the little little groblin. Yeah, nicely you done. Garvey look. It's very kind. A uh, hackbutt donates five bucks. The hackbutt. Thank you. They say hi, Tom and Ben. I was recently accepted to Columbia University Dental School. Ooh. So soon I'll be a chomper expert. Ang ang. I want to say thank you for keeping me entertained and sane in between studying. Mm. Question: Do slan have teeth? And how do they care for them? Ooh. Good question. I don't know if Slan do have teeth, but he, they'd have a like a dedicated skink that comes up with a brush. Yeah, rag on a stick. Um, but, I mean, frogs don't have teeth, do they? They just kind of fucking swallow things, I think. Jabba the Hutt doesn't have teeth. The Saurus do. Yeah, but they're not the same like species. The snakes have teeth. Uh, no, they snake have teeth. Do they? I thought yeah. they just went swallowed things up nah, and just mate. went bob. No, nah, no, like they've got fall out. Nah, they've got loads. They got chompers. Well, no, I don't know if they actually. Fuck. <laughs> Before I go too deep, they have teeth-like things, mm. which are lots of little things that look like teeth that point backwards. So when they chomp, so everything it, gets pushed it, down. It don't come out. Ah. Um. I don't know. Do. Frogs 
have teeth. Um, Some have tiny teeth on their upper jaws. Okay. Only one frog has true teeth. Oh, okay. So maybe is the answer. So maybe Slan have teeth. Uh, but yeah, if they do have teeth, definitely uh, Skink. Skink is going to be... Scrubbing away. Yeah. yeah. And occasionally okay. he gets eaten. If he gets in there and he has to really like scrub a dub dub, if he falls in, that Slan's just going to, in his sleep, oh, swallow oh, that oh. Skink. It's just how it goes. That's where it is. That's how it goes. Yeah, but that's a great honor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, well, you tell everyone it's a great honor. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, no one's going to want to be the, the toothbrushing guy. Yeah. But it's a step up from being the butt scrubbing guy. Yeah, the guy with the butt rag. Like, ugh. Mm. Not as much fun. Because you can still fall in there, too. <laughs> oh, geez. And that is not a great honor. That's just you being an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Banana Super King did his 10 bucks. Hey, Banana Super King. Thank you. And they say, Board Game Ben and Tabletop Tom. Hot Pearl coming at you, Ooh. big boss. Quest, question yeah. for you two. Since you both obviously work super closely with James Workshop, yes. Uh, any idea mm -hmm. uh, what the new proposed Henry Cavill show will be based on? Mm. What are your hopes for, if any? Well, we did talk about this a lot, like a month ago, when it first news first broke. Yeah. Um, so we won't go into like mega detail. No. But we can do a little little recap. I think the last Warhammer stream before. Jingle Jam. Yeah, it's like so the, end I guess of the last one in November, mm. uh, which was just like a day or two before. Yeah, the day before Jingle Jam, mm. I think it was. I think yeah, we went in um, a whole whole red hot amount. Mm. Uh, but I think generally, like you, know, you go. Sorry. I think something inquisitory mm. kind of makes sense. Uh, That's what I would hope for. And, and I've don't heard know if that they will do. Henry likes the Inquisitors. Uh, I've heard the opposite. I've heard that he wants to be a big boy. Really? But well, I think Henry Cavill having to be the star of it limits the options. Um, yeah. Because I think you need a sympathetic character to be the main guy. Mm. And the Imperium is generally not sympathetic. Mm. So it makes sense to do like a good inquisitor in a bad world or a good I don't uh, know I think you can you can 100% have uh you know anti-hero character mm. uh as long as you know you you can empathize with them like you know people fucking love Walter White people love uh Tony True. Soprano, Bron from Game of Thrones all of these people yeah morally not actually a good person but you do root but for them. You root for them because they've got a good, a good story. Mm, that's true. And so I think you could easily do cool character. But I don't like think those things are all kind of very adult. And stuff that you can also, yeah, more relatable. I don't think they're going to restrict the audience on this. No. Because it's going to be an expensive show oh, to make. Unless it's just Spaceship Corridors. I really hope it isn't. So it'll be expensive. So it needs to have really broad audience appeal to justify the huge cost. And so I think that means we're probably not going to get a, a Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad kind of situation. I'd love it. Don't get me wrong. What you're saying sounds great. I just oh, don't yeah, think yeah, they'll yeah, do geez. it. Um, I just don't know if they'd go for a... Uh, uh, a, a Space Marine. Oh, man. I think Space Marines need to be used as little as possible. Mm. I think they need to show up for five minutes and kick ass and look amazing and then yeah, yeah. fuck off again. You know, that's my, my ideal. Because if it, the whole thing's about Space Marines, they're not very interesting people. Because they can't afford to do 20 minutes of battle scenes every episode. Yeah, which is... So that's not going to happen. So do you want... How much... Brother, have you recited your hymns for six hours today? Come, brother! <laughs> Let us do the literary of reloading <laughs> as we polish our bolt guns. <laughs> there you go, great. Yeah. That's the fucking four-hour episode right there. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to either change the law or, I don't know, and just like, as Space Marines are not great to, yeah. uh, for like watching. Um, yeah. Do you think they just 
jump in and just instantly do uh, the fucking Horus Heresy? I think it would be a mistake because I feel like you've got to get people interested before you, like, fucking waterboard them in the deep end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Full um, mega lore. Yeah, I think it's too much. I think you need to, like, get people being like, this looks cool, this is an interesting universe, and then yeah. bring the, the heavier stuff in later. Mm. Um, but I could imagine a cool Game of Thrones-type Horus Heresy situation where, you know how, like, imagine Game of Thrones had been ended well, and you went through this roller, like, steady, steady, like, thing of, like, liking Daenerys and then finding out she's a monster. At the yeah, end. yeah. You could do that with Horus, um, where you think he's a cool guy, and then, you know, he's not a cool guy. What? Um, and, but you'd have, to, you'd have to keep it really focused, because you know how, like, in Game of Thrones, season one is just, there's like five or six characters who matter, mm. and the Starks and the Lannisters are the only houses you really know about. And then as it progresses over the years, you find out more about, oh, these are the Dornish guys, these are the Greyjoys, these are the things, but they've, they're basically not in it until like later yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how you'd have to do the Horus Heresy. Like, you'd have to be like, here's like three or four, the main like characters and legions would have to be like Fulgrim and Ferris Manus, so that you give a shit when they betray each other and one of them dies. That's like, that's the big, like the big no going back moment in the Horus Heresy where one of the Primarchs dies really Oh well. God, but I already hate like that. You, you're gonna have that scene of like, brother, <laughs> yeah. I made this sword for you. <laughs> brother, well, I made this hammer for you. And like, yeah, they do they kiss? Don't they kiss, kiss at that yeah, moment? It, it's gonna feel like awkward sexual tension. Oh. <laughs> for sure. Um, and you'd have to like, you'd have to basically only make like four or five of the Primarchs even in it for the first season, because otherwise there's 20 of these weird assholes kicking around and you can't yeah. remember who's who or why you should care. You need to like really hyper-focus on a few of them and then bring in more later as it progresses. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that would be great. I think that's the best way to do it mm. if you were going to do it. Um, there were only 18. Well, technically there's 19, because there's two Alpharius's, and then you've also got like Malkador and the Emperor. So you've got like 21 assholes to worry about, and that's too much for your casual um, Kremlo enthusiast. <laughs> uh, well, that's a bit of like, a, like an oxymoron. Because surely just your casual Kremlo enthusiast still knows too much. <laughs> yeah. They know at least 50 stories of Warhammer 40,000 characters shitting their pants, mm -hmm. uh, which is more than like, you know, uh, you know, I don't think my mum would know that many. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. It's too, it just feels like way too much. I'd love to watch like an Eisenhorn type. I don't actually want to watch Eisenhorn. I want to watch an Eisenhorn type thing. Mm. I think they'd be better off making something an original thing set in the world. I think you're going to upset less people. Yeah. Because I think most Black Library books wouldn't adapt well. And then when you change them to adapt well, people will whinge that they've changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just make something, you know, Gary Bisonhorn, who's also an Inquisitor on the run looking for demon hosts and all that shit. Um, but then you can just do, your, you can make it better for TV without having to change the stuff yeah, people I love. Think that, yeah, I just, just get a good story and stick it in the world and yeah, you'd probably get a better better show out of it. I got hmm. Um Well yeah, so maybe moving on. Uh, Lukey donates nine bucks. Hey, Lukey. I say hi, boys. First time live dono. No idea what you're doing at the moment. I saw some dice. They were dice after me or something. I don't know. Four months ago, I started from the bottom of the VOD pile. Now I'm up to June 2019. Still got some climbing up to do before I reach the surface. Oh, wow. geez. That's a lot of VODs. That's a lot of VODs. That's a lot. Good luck. And back up your brain. Oh, geez. Before you go any further. You yeah. might, you'd be glad to have that restore point, I think. 
we, we will turn it to mush. Mm. Heck. Mm. Um, and Jim Bob did six bucks. Thank you, Jim Bob. I say hi, Timunculus and Bodgula. Uh, I'm still catching on the VODs from October. But I thought I'd drop by. So please, no spoilers uh, for the future. Thanks, guys. Oh. Uh, any plans for a new campaign or maybe a different game for the stream? Uh, lots of love, boys. Kiss, kiss. Mm. Thank you. Um, we're not entirely sure what we're doing at the moment. Uh, I think we just were down with just taking a bit of a break from... Yeah, I think I, I want to wait until Chaos Dwarfs come out. Mm. We'll have a three. Yeah, I think like... Bring out a new faction, something mm. like that. Something to uh, mix it up. Maybe, maybe we'll come back, come back then. But we can uh, play some other games while we wait for an update. Other games? Yeah. I don't know. What, what kind of games do people want to see? What is this? Other games? It doesn't have to be um, Warhammer games. Tom and Ben can know. We're like lore about everything. multifaceted, well-rounded individuals. Yeah. We're not just Warhammer. No. You know, we also like Warmaster. Yep. And... Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. Yep. <laughs> uh, we could complain about all those other things. Yeah. We could get real balls deep in Battletech, if you like. Oh, no. I really enjoyed Darktide. I find the problem with Darktide is... Uh, is like in the shooty games, I kind of get a bit like heads down. Yeah, it's hard to chat, to be honest, when you're playing a game like that. Hmm. Um, but also, I think, you know, just challenge, challenge ship. Um, but, like, do let us know what you are hot for uh, in the comments, in the thing. Yeah. Um, hit us up. Uh, Elden Ring co op? We did do a bit of that, didn't we? Yeah, I'd like to do some more of that at some point. Hmm. I've got an idea. Mix it up oh, a bit. Okay. For a different, I need different to try format. a new build. A bit like, I think that's why I've not played any Elden Ring because I just kind of got bored of my build. What was your build? Oh man, I, I was playing a bunch of um, Elden Ring uh, multiplayer. The oh, the new arena, the thing. arena stuff. Yeah, how was it? Got really into it. Mm. Um, as someone who was always like, "There's no way I could ever go into this and win," mm. so I'm playing a bunch and I actually started doing, started, to, really? started getting okay at it. Were you using your classic big, big bonk stick? I tried that. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, but I changed to a different big bonk stick, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was a lot better. Mm. It was a big bonk stick that had a ranged attack attached to it. Ah. Uh, and so it just gave you a bit more flexibility. It was really, really good. Uh, do you remember like the big, I can't remember what they're called, the ant, ant lion thing? I don't know. Uh, what's the star? Elden Ring. Star Beast? Is that. That's what he's called. I don't know. The falling Star. Oh beast. yeah, it's got the the chompers. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, this guy. I remember this guy. Uh, so the weapon is one of his mandibles ah, on a stick. Okay. But you, you poke it in the air, and then blam, rocks coming out of the ground. Ooh, um, okay, that's fun. And started using that to blast blast people. Um, mm. and it was it was a lot of fun. It was very good. Oh, nice. Uh, that's the weapon. Uh, that sounds really cool. But yeah, uh, the reason why I wanted to use that weapon was saw because uh, when they did the update of the arenas, they divert like switched from how they balance weapons because now they balance stuff for multiplayer, mm -hmm. but they stopped tweaking the balance for them in the actual game. Oh, amazing! So now multiplayer and single player are kind of separate. Yeah, like weapons work quite differently mm. and so it means a weapon can be really strong in the, the single player game mm. without uh, ruining the multiplayer yeah oh that's really cool uh, I just saw some bullshit with this weapon exactly of like there were certain bosses where you can just stun lock them permanently and they die and I was like I want to try that <laughs> that seems jokes if you just go to an yeah. arena lock on and you just have to just keep pressing one button <laughs> and you win it was great very good <laughs> Wow, and everyone had a good time. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you know, that's fun. Uh, we should have a look at Warmaker, apparently. Warmaker! Oh, Warmaker! You make all the wars. Warmaker game. Drive-through RPGs. Is it an RPG game? Is that what you're talking about? 
Uh, Tabletop wargaming system. Binary dice mechanics. Hmm. Interesting. Have a look at it. Sounds like a Ben. So that is a Ben job. Like a Ben job. Yeah, I'll scout it out and report back. Reading rules. Hmm. Combines my two most hated things: reading and rules. Oh my god! And uh, books. And books. Uh, oh. uh, uh, <laughs> gross. Book, book rules. Uh, so a beautiful Smurf Marine. Uh, mm -hmm. Donates 10 bucks, a beautiful Smurf Marine. I say, Mr. Tar, Mr. Ben, I miss you, my sweet boys. Uh, now we're getting into shit talking streams. World Top Watch DS9 for three hour Star Trek talks. Uh, Kremlo came in the sky with diamonds. No, I'm not going to watch DS9. Not for a long time. Never ever? I'm not going to say never ever. Hmm. But I don't have any plans to start it. It's a fucking billion fucking years. I think it's less than um, Next Gen. I think Next Gen had the most episodes of any Star Treks. It's still probably going to be like five seasons of 25 episodes. Yeah, that sounds about 125 right. hours. I can tell you now, first season, not good. Ooh. So DS9 is seven seasons. Ooh. So 175 episodes. Uh, but it's better than TNG. You could be like, look, I've got the best TV show in the world, but it's 175 hours of your life that you've got to watch. Mm. I'd be like, Ugh. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Probably not going to. Um, it does have the Ferengi, and I think you'll enjoy the Ferengi a lot. I like the Ferengi, but they are in other Star Wars. Star yeah, Wars. but they're in it a lot. They're like constantly around. How many packlets? No packlets. No Gowron either. There's a different Klingon general. Oh, does he have those good Gowron eyes? No. Pierce they're... your soul. One of them's got an eye patch on. That's not as good. Not as good at all. Um, but yeah. Uh, like, look, one day. One day I might. But yeah, I have. Oh, no, he is in it. I have no plans. I'd forgotten he was in it. I was thinking of um, what's his name? Mur Murdoch? Murtok? Is the main Klingon guy? Martok. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Why don't you rewatch it, Ben? Why don't you rewatch the whole of it? Because it's way too much. I'm st I don't think I'm going to finish the 12 hours of the traitors at this rate. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's way too long. Yeah. That should have been three hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's just my personal bugbear of the endless recapping. Oh, endless recapping. Those, the challenges that kind of mean nothing. Thing. Yeah. Like the round table's really the, the point of the show. Yeah, that's the best part. And everything else can get cut as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you can trim a lot of it down. It's, uh, but that, I have that problem with almost all reality TV. The way they go like, okay, so today, contestants, we're going to have you uh, race up this hill to try and win money for the prize pool. Mm. Cut to Talking Head. Stacy. So um, we had to run up this hill. <laughs> yeah. Cut to Talking Head. Mike. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was really excited for the task today until they told me I had to run up this hill. <laughs> the thing was, we had to run up the hill to get the money. Yeah. Cut to the presenter. Right, we've got to run up this hill, and we're going to make some money, so get ready to go. Three, two, one, boop. Cut to Stacy. So they blew the whistle, <laughs> and then we started running up the hill. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Fucking get on with it. I, uh... it oh, it blows my mind. Oh, I do. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found it. I found it very captivating, though. The I was still able to just absolutely fucking binge watch it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, we've we've been binge watching it in the way that like parents with full time jobs binge watch things, which is two episodes a night for five nights in a row. <laughs> OK, how much, how much um, do you have left? I think we've done eight. So I think we've got like four episodes left. Um, but I'm this close to fast forwarding through anything that isn't at the round table. I'd say like the law, it like it, it kind of heats up in the last fall. Okay. I think it's probably at its best. Uh, the first half is definitely the slowest. Yeah. Second half gets better. And yeah, the last couple of episodes are, I'd say pretty good TV. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better because 
I'm running out of steam. Um, the challenges are still a waste of time. Yeah, they had one interesting challenge where um, they had to ask people questions when they were on the wheel. Oh, and had yeah. To, uh, uh, that, was, same answer. that was interesting, but also felt very mean. It did feel mean, but that sort of, you know, stirred up the drama. Yeah, but also, yeah. it was the only challenge that gave them anything to go on. Yeah. As for terms of, like who might be evil or why would you answer a question that way and people were genuinely answering truthfully to get more money but then it gave the traitors more information about like well this person everyone trusts them, yeah that, which they might not figure out any yeah it way. definitely made was the most in-game game that they played but um, all the other games have just like fucking pushing barrels uphill who gives yeah. a shit uh yeah. <laughs> that literally was one of the challenges. It was just <laughs> fucking boring as... Rounding up sheep. Yeah. <laughs> like, that wasn't good to watch. No. Or be in, I No, imagine. that was terrible to watch. Because <laughs> yeah. a lot of those sheep just did look the same. <laughs> yeah. It's really the thing about sheep. Mm. Um, in fact, counting sheep is... Is something that pe famously pe people do to go to sleep. it's so, so boring. Uh, <laughs> you go to sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Jeremy is looking for a gift for his aunt. Oh, fuck. Do you remember that Mitchell and Webb sketch where they take the piss out of reality TV shows and it's just this endless loop of, like, Jeremy's in the shop looking for a gift for his aunt and he walks in and talks to David Mitchell. He's like, hi, I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. Cut to talking head of David Mitchell. This man came in and asked for a gift <laughs> for his aunt. <laughs> and it's just like a, like a two-minute sketch oh, of, like, yeah, just, that... like, nothing. Oh. <sighs> You know, you might forget. You might forget what's going on, <laughs> yeah. or be surprised, and then be angry. Uh, and all of the, like, I, I genuinely can't tell if they've just found, like, the most emotionally unstable people on the planet, or if everyone is just massively overreacting on purpose to everything. I think there's a bit of a bit of column A, bit of column B. You know, you've got producers who are pretty good at like riling people up. Right. We don't want a bunch of just you know, level-headed people who are just going to, you know, maths this out and make it boring. Yeah. But in turn, I feel like, especially early on, mm. when people were like, you didn't look sad when that person get, got kicked out. You're a fucking traitor. Mm. And so then people are like, if I don't, if uh, I'm the yeah. first person to stop crying, <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. means I'm the traitor. They are so playing so crying everyone chicken, aren't they? is <laughs> just having to, like, I think... Within their just like social group, it's been really like bred, and they're half expecting each other to react more. And I think mm. because of that, even the people that probably wouldn't react that much kind of end up emoting more to try and to not be as suspicious, yeah, to overcompensate. Or if it's just way more normalized that mm. if everyone's breaking down and it's kind of stressful, then you're like, oh fuck it, I'm just gonna. But they're all like they've they've known each other for like a day. And they're like, but I love you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely wild. Uh, I don't know. It's just so, it's so bizarrely emotionally intense. Also, it's just like maybe when they were like two or three days in, mm. it's like, oh, it's this person because they are acting differently now yeah. to they were on the very first day. It's like, well, maybe they're just feeling a bit more comfortable around Yeah, maybe people. they've relaxed a bit more. Maybe or maybe they realize that well. you're a fucking asshole oh. now, and now they're <laughs> yeah. acting a bit differently towards you because they've worked out that they don't like some people, or they now do like people. Yeah. Just any number of reasons. Yeah, the bonkers logic that they make is uh, really good. Um, oh, yeah. Well, because they have literally nothing to go on. Yeah. So they just start making shit up. Uh, it, which is pretty, pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I like it, and I hate it. Oh, yeah, it's awful, but there's something captivating about yeah. it that I do actually really enjoy. Uh, even though it's kind of hot garbage. <laughs> it sounds like a TC recording. It really does. Yeah. This show, it basically is Among Us. It's, um, it's basically, like, to sum it up in its truest form, it's what if we made the Big Brother house play a game of Werewolf that lasted two weeks. Yeah, that's basically it. Just a long game of Werewolf. Hmm. With no no roles, just traitors. Hmm. Um. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, we've got some more donations in. Mm. Uh, this is one from Tiger Prescare. Mm. Uh, who's next? Three bucks. Need Tiger Prescare. Say it's me again, Tiger. 
The one who ruined your life by showing you a May Wing. God, I've forgotten what a May Wing is. Should I, do I look it up again? Because... Uh, on your it, head be it. Because like, maybe I've, you know, blocked that out on purpose. Oh, it was the, like, platypus thing in the arc. Oh, the like, big derpy arc flying squirrel that, guy. That yeah, I remember that ridiculous thing. Uh, <laughs> now I'm here again uh, with a new hell. Ooh. Uh, fuck, marry, kill three of the weirdos from March of the Weirdos. <gasps> oh, easy. Right. Well, which three is it going to be? I think it has to be the big bird. Oh, love him. Chick, Frogman, and Stilts. I think kill that boy. Oh, yeah. Kill, kill Stilts for sure. Uh, maybe fuck the bird. Oh, I kind of want to marry the bird. I, I like I feel like I want to marry the prawn banner bearer guy. He seems pretty <laughs> pretty rad. Kill this we guy. We are all agreed to kill that guy. Uh or kill this guy because yeah. I instantly forgot that he even existed. He's not he's the worst one. This guy feels like uh, death may be a mercy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He reminds me of that episode of The Simpsons, uh, Treehouse of Horrors, where Bart tries to turn a frog into a prince. Oh, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Kill me, bleh. <laughs> yeah, it's just vomiting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe marry Prawn Standard Bearer, because he just seems like a chill dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of good ones. I've got to marry this guy. He's pretty good. He's, He's pretty cool. He's very huggly. Yeah. Blam. Got it. <laughs> uh, Thordak Tinder King, and it's three bucks. Thank you, Thordak. Thank you. And they say, "Hail Turkey and Badger." Uh, I wonder if either of you read the Wheel of Time. Mm. Uh, it's a very good and reasonably famous high fantasy series, mm. not the Amazon adaptation. Uh, and it has ten times the bad bits of ROP, Rings of Power, and none of the good bits. Oh, so I've not read it. Um, because it's like 16 novels or something like that. It's a fucking long, it's one of those big old fantasy series. Is, is um, 13, sorry. Um, and I was curious about it because the original author died near the end. Like there was like three books or something like that that he hadn't finished writing. Wait, is this Wheel of Time? Yes. Okay. And then um, uh, Brandon Sanderson was a friend of his or knew him and the family asked him to finish the unfinished books right um and i i've liked quite a lot of brandon sanderson's books so that alone made me think well maybe you know if it's this guy's kind of style and he if he's a an appropriate enough fit to finish the series mm -hmm. maybe i'll like the whole thing you know what i mean because okay. of overlap and then i watched the amazon show and thought uh, well if i get into this then yeah maybe i'll go back and read the books but the um the show did not make me want to go back and read the book. Right. Okay. Um, but the, the other thing that's put me off is that it's quite old. Um, I think the first book came out in like the early 80s or something. Right, like okay. And, you know, 80s fantasy is very like, you know, just Lord of the Rings derivative. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've read other fantasy series from around that time and I didn't like any of them. Okay. Um, so that also makes me kind of wary of Less it. It's like, hot for. feels a little like generic and not the kind of fantasy I'm into these days, which is quite different from, from that. Hmm. Um, apparently the first one is a Lord of the Rings derivative, but then it swings away from that very quickly. Afterwards. But then, what, you have to go through the whole first book to read the others? It's honestly the worst sales pitch to get me to get into anything. Mm. Oh, you'll like this long thing, but the first one is terrible. Well, someone at the pub was trying to tell me about how great Final Fantasy XIV was. And they said, right, so the first two DLCs are really bad. But, <laughs> it's just like... And I'm like, what? So I, I'm 100 hours in before it gets good? Because <laughs> that just sounds to me like you've got Stockholm Syndrome at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or you're... Bar was so low that the moment it was possibly good, you're like, fuck, this is so much better than Yeah. And I've spent a hundred hours, so it has to be good. Mm. Like, is there just like some sunk cost fallacy kicking in there? I think there is. I think there is. I don't know. Um. Hmm. 
So I don't know. A lot of people love it, though. So it probably is good. I've heard, yeah. It's one of the most of popul popular fantasy series of all time, so it can't, can't be shit. I just don't know if it's for me. You know? Who knows? Maybe I should give it a go. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think we're lost. Uh, Denise, five bucks. Yeah, I think we're lost. Yeah. It's a long time gobbo, first time dono. Uh, thank you for getting me into running tabletop RPG with your Call of Cthulhu campaign. Uh, have y'all heard about the leaked Hasbro mm. Wizards of the Coast open game license? Uh, I might be a simple gobbo, but it sounds like a load of ball to me. Uh, well, that's a good topic. Um, how are you feeling? Do you want to go on a break and then come back? Yeah, that's a quite a big topic. Because uh, also we've got a whole load more donors to get through. Oh, okay. And um, mm -hmm. uh, I know that TJ needs to go home. Yes. So should we just take a quick... Let's take a break, let TJ go home, and then we can come back for maybe another sort of half an hour, 45 minutes or something like that. Yeah, maybe longer. Yeah, we'll see how like it that. goes. Blam. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take a quick break. Mm -hmm. um, we will get back to... Get back to this. I think we're lost. Um... But yeah, uh, so we'll be back uh, very soon, um, in five minutes or so. Uh, so stay tuned as we just chat, chat more shit. Chat more shit. See you in five. See you in five. Bam, 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 bam. Tom, Tom, come, come, come. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Ba, 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 ba. Tom, Tom, Tom. Every time I hear the Terminator theme tune, for some reason, I remember that that's the song that plays during the sex scene in Terminator 1, but it's like a, it's a more sexy version of that, like, Grim, dun 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 dun, bow, 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 bow. and it's so <laughs> weird that there's like <laughs> just a random sex scene in the middle of like this action horror film, and that it's got like the main theme as the um, as the music behind it. Yeah, well, it's great, great to like fucking time to you, right? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh, it's it's inconsistent as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, always, you always keep them guessing. <laughs> what are you... Uh, Good night, TJ. What are you doing during the noodling part? The... Just, <laughs> just grinding around. I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, you know, well, when I get a chance to, uh, you know, be intimate, mm. uh, then I'll, I'll make, try it try out. And work it out. And then we'll report back. Mm. Okay. 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 Might take us a few years, but we'll start to <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, so anyway, welcome back to, I guess now it's Tom and Ben After Dark. Oh, yeah. What which I guess it makes sense that we instantly began with talking <laughs> about fucking in time to... Yeah. Um, a, a Terminator. Is that why that's the music to Terminator? Because John Connor was conceived during that music. That would make sense. So now it's his theme. Oh, fuck. But if your theme tune has to be the music your parents were listening to... <laughs> when you were conceived yeah that's weird it is weird like i don't want to know my theme tune yeah now. i don't think you want that <laughs> information <laughs> just gonna taint any song i hear because it's gonna mean that's the my parents fuck you because you will instantly like you're just like going along and you hear that music come on <laughs> yeah. and just for a, even a millisecond there'll be a flash of your <laughs> parents just Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> which is not which is just not what you want oh at all no i hate it mm. oh bryce so anyway <laughs> <laughs> now that everyone has just instantly uh, just thought of their parents uh, having sex uh let's move on <laughs> To, uh, I think we're lost has donated and asked us if we know about the Wizards of the Coast open game license. Okay. So super, it's not something we know a ton about, but 
from what I've gathered, citation needed and do your own research and all that shit. We, we are not as expert on D&D &D as we are on Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all of our red hot takes on how Games Workshop handle their stuff, but yeah. we're very opinionated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so as I understand it, they're making anyone who makes like content on Dungeons and Dragons, whether you write scenarios or expansions or books, or you make videos or live streams or any D and D related stuff, you're gonna have to sign this new contract. Mm -hmm. That means anytime you make anything, you're gonna have to like log it with them, and they can then it's theirs and they can keep it and do whatever they want with it. And they can also say no, you're not allowed to do that. If basically you have to get approval for everything. And then if you're making over a certain amount of money, you have to give them like 20% of all the money you make. So I heard that if, once again, we could be wrong on yeah. a lot of this stuff. Yeah, we are not. Uh, we do not know what we're talking about. But yeah, if you're making over um, 750 grand is when you have to pay the money. Oh, And I think lot. they said like 5%. Oh, I heard 25. Oh. But I might be do wrong. Not know. Uh, but... So really, it's just critical role, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. They're just like, we want some of that critical role money. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys are making a lot of cash, and we yeah. want some of that cash. It took them a while to ask for it, though, didn't it? Like, how long's critical role been big for? Like, Jeez, um, like years. Years and years, right? 25%, 20% if you do a Kickstarter. Uh, over but, 50k is reporting mm -hmm. to Wizards of the Coast. Over... 750 grand, 25% royalties. So and it's, it's like, revenue, not profit. Okay. So if you're selling books, but like you could easily have a high revenue and a low profit because you've got to pay for the physical distribution and the postage and all that shit. You could end up, if you're giving them 25% of the gross, you might not literally be able to have a business anymore. Yeah. Uh... Also, it's all leaks. Wizards of the Coast haven't said anything official. Yeah. Uh, I probably trust the leaks, to be honest. Yeah. I think there could, there, um, there could be a bit of people getting very excited very quickly. There might be some bits they've left out of the leaks that actually make it not as bad as it sounds. Uh, You'd have to take it with a pinch of salt, right? I think, yeah, definitely. Um, but they haven't said it's not true. I imagine they probably have something in the works that could be very, very close. Uh, I heard they had to have it all signed by the end of the month. Really? That was the rumor I heard, that they sent them all out and said, right, you all have to agree, you have to sign this contract before the end of January, mm. or you, we're just going to send out the lawyers. Wow. But the other thing is, it's really tricky, because I can't think of another company that just lets anyone do anything with their IP. The fact that the open gaming license exists at all is kind of like is, amazing. It's really cool, but I can see you guys fucked up when you did that. I think you open yourselves to problems mm. because, uh, like within within these uh, whatever leaks or on this subject, um, one of the things that they had been said was like they wanted to. Uh, be able to force people to take down, you know, if you want to make your D&D &D adventure module, which is, we all, and our uh, Dungeons & Dragons thing where we play white supremacists, they want to be able to be like, no, you cannot do that. Yeah. You aren't allowed to publish that at all. That's, that's pretty fair. Because we don't want you using our kind of stuff to, yeah. to hate speech. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be associated with any of that shit. And which uh, I think very... Very, very fair. Yeah. Uh, but in turn, um, you know, this blanket rule that now affects everyone. Mm. Well, there needs to be a middle ground, obviously, doesn't there? You can't just let people do whatever you want with your your brand. And if you, But if you restrict it too much, then people aren't going to make stuff with your brand and it's not going to be as popular. Like, imagine if, like, Minecraft said, no mods. You know, yeah. Minecraft wouldn't have got as big as it was. Oh, for sure. Um yeah, 100%. And especially with, um, yeah, if they're attacking the content creators as well, mm. uh, if it becomes less desirable. Like, do you remember when, uh, it was years ago, where uh, Nintendo started like yeah. content claiming 
Every. Any video that was done on a Nintendo game. Yeah. Uh, and then it meant that people just stopped making videos on Nintendo games because there was no... Well, yeah, why would you? There's, you can't make money from it. Yeah. And so it could be the kind of thing that they put this out, and if everyone's like, we're not going to make D&D content anymore, we're now going to play... Yeah, whatever other... Fucking co kobolds and canyons or <laughs> yeah. some other shit. Uh, well, especially with a role-playing game, because, like, fuck, it's all just make it up and imagine it anyway. Like... You don't need... Wizards needs content creators more than content creators need yeah. D&D. You know? Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's a complicated one. I f think it's a... heavy-handed, uh, you know, wacky approach. Mm. Um, but in turn, you know... Uh, they've they've gone real big because of you know, uh, because of people doing this stuff. And yeah. Things. But now that I'd say like D and D is very synonymous with just role playing in general. Yeah. A people lot of use people, those words interchangeably. Uh, like, uh, like your dad uses Gorkamorka. Like my dad, <laughs> somehow <laughs> that is the only thing he's latched onto <laughs> that he believes all. All, All miniature miniatures gaming. is Gorka Morka, <laughs> just for some fucking bonkers reason. Uh, but, you know, I think my mum would have a better idea of what... Mm. She would know what D&D &D is, but mm. I think she would understand if I said, like, oh, we're doing role-playing games. Yeah. She'd be like, is that... Is that sexy? Is that sex stuff? <laughs> <I'd be> like... <laughs> Well, kind of, but... <laughs> but not completely. There's but, dice as well. But different. <laughs> um, and... Uh, yeah, the, it's so big that, you know what, maybe you can just fucking... Uh, start throwing your weight around and doing this because people are still going to fucking buy, buy the game. People are mm -hmm. still going to be playing it. And if they get a bit more control and a bit more money, like... Yeah, it's a dangerous game to play. They need to put enough control in to protect themselves. Yeah. But not so much that it alienates the creators. And yeah, for sure. The leaks sound like it's probably too far fit that way. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. I mean, they're, you know, notoriously not a super chill company. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like that. I don't really have, like, the strongest... No, it's not really something we're super involved in. Uh, and, like, haven't been super following it, just mainly because I don't really play mm. play D&D. Um, Me neither. And I also, just because of what I'd heard so far was a lot of it is rumours and people reacting to rumours. Like, until all the information is out and then you're like, okay, right, these people have had to, like, shut down their companies, this thing has to have, had to have been changed. Then, I think, you know, could could get more outraged about it. But at the moment... Oof. Yeah. Uh, it must be rough, though. Imagine you're, like, you're Wizards of the Coast executive man, and you you have a project, and you make a new expansion, and it's shit, and no one likes it. And then some Kickstarter dude makes his own expansion on his own, and it sells millions super, of copies. Super fucking popular. And um, you're just like... <laughs> Uh, like that's got a sting. Yeah, God, you would be would be mad. Um, or I know, like they've had problems where they, whatever, they release something, mm. and then there's instant fallback of like that was made by this person who did this thing two years ago. Oh fuck! And if there's a hundred million expansions coming out every Someone month, will and have I don't made almost everything. A, uh, it, yeah, I mean, the fantasy tropes are well known by everyone, and chances are more than one person's made a lair of the Spider Queen like adventure just completely independently. The, yeah, coming up with and ha releasing stuff, and if you haven't seen it all. Mm. Like, you had that with Minecraft. Like, they got criticized so much when they added something, and people being like, oh, you stole that from this person who modded in this thing. It's yeah. like, <laughs> put fucking bees in. <laughs> bees, like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine bees. I didn't need to... This mod maker's unique bee idea. Yeah, yeah, and so... Yeah. Um, yeah, that is a tough one. But yeah. So who knows? I don't know. I think we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Um, mm. Yeah, it does suck for people who are, like, you know, doing good work and 
making this the, their business. Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck to everyone. Hopefully you can still keep making your, your content and still make a living. Um, or, uh, there's so many other good fucking role-playing systems out there. This is true. And actually, there's quite a lot of better ones. Like, I don't think D&D would even make it into my... Top 10? Oh, God, more than that. Top 25? Wow. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it'd make it into top 25. Purely because... There's so much fucking material. <laughs> there's so much material. Or just um, enough people know of it that mm, it's easy, easy to enough players. to get people to latch onto. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I know a lot of people that have some of the, the core books that you could be like, make a fucking character. I can trust you. I know you've got the book. Mm. You've got to do that. Uh, rather than having to be like, this obscure role-playing <laughs> system where we're playing old lady murder detectives. You want to play this? And they're what like, do you mean you didn't bring your knitted D42s? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Getting know what's out there. What are some other good ones? Um, I think instantly jump on to, like, if you want to be just the easiest way, um, the RPG geek. It's like a board game geek, but for RPGs. It's like, can you just look at what are the like, just top? You got the, you got the hotness on the left. Any of those good? Pirate Borg. I backed that. Nice. Uh, oh, Alice is missing. I really want to play that. Um, we want to play that over lockdown. I mean, the big thing of... Um, the One Ring. Oh, that's great. Avatar. Very cool. The big thing about role-playing game is it's really uh, theme first, right? Like, you can't really recommend a good role-playing game for someone unless you know what kind of settings they're into. Because there's no point in saying, oh, yeah, you'll love um, Space Spaceman 5000 if you hate <coughs> space stuff, <laughs> you know? Well, also, um, uh, it purely depends on what people people want. Mm. Like, you know, some people love the nitty-gritty. They want a big list of abilities and spells yeah. and things, and they want a board, and they want to know I can move four squares and my attack can go two squares and I'm going to hit three groblins with it. Yeah. Uh, I'm the other end. When I, If I'm going to play a role-playing game, I, I definitely want less rules than D&D, &D, less mm. um, stats and modifiers and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather have like a, and so, a word for that. I don't know. Uh, real, like there's so many varieties of uh, role-playing games out mm. there. Uh, they do all kinds of different things. Um, so yeah, I don't even know where where to begin. Um, say GURPS. I do I do <laughs> love GURPS. I am a big I am a big GURPS fan. Uh, we've not played it in a long time. And if anything, I don't I don't know if I want to go back to playing GURPS again. Because mm -hmm. uh, I like um, the you know a limited character sheet. Uh, like, I've been into the Powered by the Apocalypse games recently. Oh, yeah. Very, very simple, kind of like, just core rule set that people just publish publish games within this, like, just framework. And it's just a really nice framework of rules. And uh, just for an example, uh, can we get, like, Monster of the Week playbook? Can we just get an image of one of these? Uh, so, for example, uh, boom, right, you want to play this game, you choose the class, the chosen. Can I see that, but bigger? Oh, that's Jeez, just, that's, there's fucking ads on the screen. That's just fucking perfect. Can I just open an uh, image in new tab? There you go. Okay, great. So you've got this character. Mm -hmm. uh, right, you choose very basic, like, you've got a few points where you want to spend them. Uh, you get to choose one of these abilities to make your character. It's five very flavorful abilities. Oh, you get to choose to make a weapon. What do you want your weapon to be? A, uh, a staff, it's a heavy weapon, it's something else. And then you add on, it's going to be... Uh, got have a chain ability, and also it's magical. You can choose what that now is. Oh, it's a great two-handed magic axe uh, you could do that. Yeah. Making your character is so quick and simple, but it's flavorful. And you can read and be like, oh, I never thought of that. Great. I'm going to do that. A bit okay. of framework. 
Whereas Cameron's the problem of GURPS, where it's just like, make anything. Yeah, you've it can, so much choice that you can't really choose anything. They're having some uh, limitation on what uh, what you yeah. can do. Like, this I think would take can help. Two, two minutes or five oh. minutes to make a character, wouldn't it? Yeah, like we, we've played a couple of games of this and mm -hmm. have just turned up with just the different playbooks, which are just this kind of sheet, mm -hmm. and just tell people like which one sounds kind of cool to you, mm -hmm. uh, hand it to them, read through it, tick off the boxes that you want, great, we are good to go. Mm -hmm. Takes less less than five minutes. Uh, yeah, but it all depends what you want. Like, you know, there's two other, the, like you, can, like you have one end of the spectrum, which is like an everyone is John, where you basically, you pick one skill and that's oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, just rambling around. To the other end of the spectrum where you've got like you need to have your own player book to go through all your different abilities yeah, and yeah. time units and shit. Yeah, you're and playing the, the fatal system. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck it hell. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's up to you. There's a lot to choose from, holy shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're looking for something, something new and weird, Powered by the Apocalypse, anything within there, because there's a fucking million of them now. Uh, but it's just a fun, fun system. That's what I'd say. Blammo. Uh, Gabriel of Nottingham mm. donates five bucks. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. And they say, oh, God, I'm just trying to get the link. Uh, they say, Ben and Tom, mm. I've seen the new lore tidbit of Arcs of Omen hinting at plant people. Ooh. Similar to anything in the past or entirely new? And I didn't read that thing. Um, I can't think of plant people in Warhammer before. You've had, um, what does it say? Dante responds to give you a dramatic reading. When the Ark bore down upon the agri worlds of the Senachagius belt deep in the Imperium Nihilus, Commander Dante led a force of blood angels to intercept. Upon reaching their destination, they found the Hulk, the Night Terror, drifting lifeless in the void. Wrecked heretic warships hung about it like some macabre garland. Boarding the Hulk, Dante and his battle brothers discovered sulfurous residue and withered remains of widespread biomechanical infestation, mingled with traces that bizarrely resembled wilted plant life. There were also corpses. Dead heretic Astartes and cultists lay through, strewn throughout the silent Hulk. Some bore explosive wounds that told of bolter rounds, others had been hewn through by some great blade. Although they searched for several days, the Blood Angels could find no clue as to the fate of the Night Terror. Ordering samples analyzed, Dante led his warriors back to their ships, determined to learn more of this ominous occurrence. Who's this lad? I just search for a plant person. Oh, right. Not Warhammer plant person. Not Warhammer plant person. Oh, that's very vague, isn't it? Is it just a bit of fun flavor of... Yeah, probably. I think what generally what they do is they throw a lot of shit in and they see what sticks. Like, um, you know, in the early Marvel movies, there's a lot of random stuff in the background and Easter eggs and stuff, mm. but not all of it became stuff. Um, and I think it's a lot like that. Like, you know, they'll chuck in like 12 obscure references and then if people really latch onto something, then maybe they'll develop one of them. Mm. Like, um, do you remember the Croot? Croot were in third edition Warhammer is like a sketch of a random Xenos. Yeah. And then they yeah, appeared yeah. like four years later as an actual model. Um, the Hrud have been mentioned numerous times, but you know, they've never made miniatures or really explained them at all. Yeah, and they, they really changed their vibe. Yeah, they were like Space Skaven at one point, and then they were like weird worm people. Um, yeah, like I'm pretty sure they probably have a lot of whatever on their, their notebooks, just all the ideas that ever could come up. And they're like, yeah, it's that plant army that someone's talking about. Like, I don't think we're going to make that, but fuck it. We'll put a little reference in somewhere. Yeah, it's great. If it ever comes that. up, like, it looks like we had a plan all along, but mm -hmm. all the other things that never got developed, you don't realize yeah. they didn't get developed. Yeah, uh, there's a million things that they've mentioned and never done anything with, but they're just planting seeds, and some of them grow, mm -hmm. and some of them don't. Planting seeds. Very nice. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'll be plant people. It doesn't link up with anything I've heard of before that I can think of off the top of my head, but maybe no. there has been a plant people. Um, there were some really old killer plants in Rogue Trader. And we had like um, 
Catagen Brain Leaf. Brain Leaf. Brain Leaf was great. Uh, there was a whole bunch. There's like some carnivorous plants as well. Yeah. I um, vaguely remember that being in the White Dwarf, where you could play the... Uh, just like to mention the Catagen. Like you could put them into a game as like battlefield stuff. Oh, do you remember those old school boys? Oh, yeah, the styrofoam with cocktail sticks. Yeah, right green, green styrofoam red balls, <laughs> blood red. Uh, they were like in every battle report for a few years. Loved it. Uh, but yeah, there was like the man trap. Oh, yeah. There was the brain leaf. Yeah, there was the uh, sponge moss. Springy uh, moss. Yeah. Oh, God, that was the thing that, like, bounced you in a random direction, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. those were some stupid fucking things. That's pretty fun. He's cool. Angry plant man. Um, Because they have been bringing more and more rogue trader stuff back over the years, haven't they? They did the amble, and they did the uh, the squats. And yeah. And what's his name? The Zote. Zote came back. So yeah, can't remember off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure there was a whole bunch of random killer plants in Rogue Trader. So maybe they're gonna do something with that. But do they have models? Are they plant people? No. Not that I can. Not that I remember. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Well, we have to go. Uh, from somewhere. Donates three bucks. He's from somewhere. Thank you. Say, Tom and Ben, I was wondering if either of you have read anything interesting lately. Mm. Uh, how was Children of Time, Ben? Children of Time was very good. I recommend it. Check out w Children of Time. I also read the sequel, uh, Children of Ruin? Question mark? And it was not as good, but Ooh. still okay. Um, what did I read after that? I can't remember. Well, I'm on that thing we talked about earlier, the, um, mm. the assassination thing. Oh, and I did read the latest Taurus Heresy book. It was pff, very, very stretched out. Um, but the ending was quite fun. The big fight between some Gwynius and Angron. Oh, so it wasn't the part where the Emperor says, Horus Lupercal, <laughs> you, you truly, now are. truly are the Warhammer 40,000. Well, that's going to be the last book. Can't, can't wait. wait. Can't, can't wait, wait for that. that that bit to to turn up. That's my favourite bit of Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I read the the night book. I thought it was great. It was mm. a lot of fun. Um, and then I started reading the Infinite and the Divine. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot of people rave about that. Yeah, I'm about halfway through it. I've warmed up to it. I I didn't love the beginning. Mm. Not gonna lie. There was a lot of. He used his nano transmogrifier and did a thing. <laughs> right. And then the other guy inverted he his chronomaton. Used the chrono hexi rune. And right. because of something being one nanometer off of a thing, then this thing happened. And it was just. Just nonsense. <laughs> like, it was all just absolute garbage that I just was like, I don't really. I can't really picture what is happening. Yeah. It's just like, I did this, and then you did that, and then I did this it's thing. It's like two kids in a playground saying, well, I've got my bulletproof invisible shield. Yeah. Uh, I've like, got my bulletproof invisible shield breaking bullets. It, yeah, <laughs> and it just keeps doing that. Oh, dear. Uh, but I did. Uh, but I like I, as I've been reading more, I've been actually kind of getting, getting more into it. Um, <laughs> what did I think of the trial? I thought the trial was very funny. I thought the trial was good. Uh, Uh, I like how they describe it as, you know, it took them nine years to come to trial, <laughs> uh, which was scandalously fast for a, for Necron legal procedures. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, so, Naren Lord, and he's five bucks, he's Naren Lord. They say, greetings, Beneath greetings. and the Tomb. Ooh, that's you. Uh, I ordered masking tape uh, the first time in two and a half years of making oh. Iron Warriors, so my new Hazard Stripes will be quite better than my old. Yes, masking tape essential for Hazard Stripes. Uh, what do you think about the different 40k RPGs, mm. uh, like Concept, 
but two so combat rules. I can't comment on the combat rules. I've never read any of them. Uh, I think almost all of them are bloated when it comes to combat rules. Mm. I like the That's concept of a bunch of them. I think Dark Heresy is a great concept. Dark Heresy, I think, is one of the cooler, the cooler ones. Uh, it's, I think, it's more fun than um, the Death Watch one. That sounds like the most boring. Uh, For me, combat's one of the worst parts of role playing. Mm. So playing Combat Squad Five Thousand, like, I feel like you'd probably be better off just playing a like a dungeon crawling board game. Yeah. And trying to make it into a role playing game. Yeah, like I find the the combat is a bit crunchy in all of them. There's a lot of dice. There's a lot of different uh, abilities and stuff. Like abilities and stuff. Um, and yeah, didn't didn't super love it. Um, I really really like the concept of uh, what's the fucking guard one called? Only war. Only war. Uh, that seems great. I've never played it, uh, but I would like to uh, try and run a game off that. Did uh, they can all of these games? Yeah, like they all got batch? all got blasted when they stopped doing their deal with Fantasy Flight Games. Yeah, uh, is there another studio that's picked up role playing? No, I think s some of them maybe are coming back to print or have been reprinted. Uh, the Warhammer Fantasy got picked up by... Uh, I can't remember who it is. Yeah, Wrath and Glory, that's it. I couldn't remember what it was called. I know nothing about it, other than it's... Um, Cubicle 7. Oh, I think they're the people who are publishing uh, the Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. Uh. Uh, but yeah, I've not... Um, not played them. Uh, not played the new one. And it looks like um do whatever you like kind of situation rather than the theme of the fantasy flight ones. But I know who's having the most fun in the combats here. Uh <laughs> Yeah, pew pew. Um but yeah. Uh, the only war sounded cool, but uh, yeah, the others bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I'm looking forward to this though. Turn-based uh, RPG. We play like a rogue trader in their ragtag band of all the all the people. Okay. It's coming out later this year on Steam. Oh, it's like a computer game. Yeah. Oh, sure. Could be cool. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like just combat-based role-playing games would just be better as board games. Mm. Yeah, and that's how just how I feel about it. So I don't really want to play a combat-heavy role-play game because I'll just be sitting there thinking, why isn't this a board game? Like you may as well just go play like an Oathsworn or a Gloomhaven or a yeah, yeah, something like that. You know? Yeah, I think like you'd maybe be a bit more streamlined. Um, or yeah, the, what's it called? Black Blackstone Fortress or something like that. A game that's designed more about pure combat, pure mm. thing. Also, it just doesn't need to be as complicated. I don't need f fifty modifiers on my firing my gun. Yeah, into the cultist face. Only to find out you've done you know twenty percent of his health. <laughs> it's like, so whatever. Yeah. Uh, Where did I get the bodies for the Dark Angels Fallen I painted on stream? Um, those are Stormcast bodies. Oh. Um, they're a little bit bigger than Space Marines. Um, they're these ones, the Sequitors. So I just got these guys. I changed the shoulder pads, backpacks and helmets and weapons and chopped off all the little anvils. That, that's what I used. For robed robed boys, very cool. 
Uh, all dolphins are squirters. Uh, the next five bucks. Thank you, all dolphins are squirters. More and they say, Psych, it's me. <laughs> Uh, the idiot who decides to farm mob crabs during lockdown in his garage <laughs> then discovered the market is very poor for backyard crabs <laughs> and that they escape a lot. <laughs> that is one of my favorite lockdown stream Just. stories. Just he, his whole garage, he filled it with mud and flooded it, well, and then filled it with crabs. <laughs> Tried to breed mud crabs. I think the garage. fucking the chat when you were talking about doing it, <laughs> and we were maybe not entirely kind to the idea. And then you went and did and it then anyway. Came back later, and we're like, it was fucking shit. It turned out the mud crab garage <laughs> was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> it was like a month later, wasn't it? Oh fuck! It was oh. even longer. Like it was so fucking good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like Nobody wants your garage crab, Steve. <laughs> no, <just laughs> when do you even begin selling them? Uh, you set up a little stool in your front garden as people walk past. Oh crab yeah, because that's what, that's what you want to do. You want to walk <laughs> along and just oh, I'll just randomly buy a crab from this like. <laughs> They're fresh. They're still wriggling. It's, oh, man. Absolutely crazy. Love it. Very good. <laughs> Want to buy a crab? <laughs> just with your jacket full of crabs. Uh, just hang around outside of fishmongers. Yeah, they still just... got the mud on. <laughs> it's their mud crab. They still got the mud on them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's oh. like a lemon heat stand. Yeah, exactly. make crab crabs stand. Crabs with but, a little backwards but, yeah, Z. Yeah, the, the S is backwards <laughs> on your crab stand. It's perfect. They're dirt cheap. That's such a good fucking line. <laughs> Bam. Okay. I'm in. Oh. Uh, but he said, uh, tell me about the models you are next planning on painting. Cremlo came with my ass. Oh, Cremlo. What the heck, Cremlo? Oh, my. Uh, um, I'm not sure, because I just finished a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's going to depend on if the boarding actions are fun. Mm. I'm going to play some boarding actions next week, and if I'm into it, I will probably do like my Inquisition kill team squad for it. That sounds cool. If I'm not into the boarding actions, I don't know, something totally different. Because I'm not in the middle of anything right now. Yeah. Pay some little cars. I bought the rule book. Ooh. So I haven't read it yet, but um, I did pick up the book. I'd highly recommend we play a game and then read the rules. Because mm. I feel like most of that rule book is explaining v weird rules interactions more right. than what you actually need to know. I think. Okay. So once you've played a game, then like, I get it. I feel like it made infinitely more sense after I'd actually played a game. It's mainly because I just wanted to um, like read about how to make cars in the rules before I bought cars. Oh, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, I am. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I'm in the same uh, camp as Ben. On depending on what, uh, if the boarding action is good, we'll make some boarding action stuff. If it's not, we'll do something else. Yeah, it's a plane. Uh, Crookcake Algerian mm -hmm. uh, thinks five bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Say so, hi, guys. I decided to actually practice wood burning. Oh. Uh, but my practice wood is too shitty to make narrow straight lines against the grain. Oh. Uh, tried further sanding, but nope. Uh, so I send you a present. Uh, so I present to you Teddy, Toddy's wonky cousin. Okay, well, I'm God. very excited to see this. When they first said I'm practicing wood burning, I was like, hang on, does that take practice? You throw wood on fire. Wood on burned. a fire. But he means like art, soldering <laughs> art, right? Uh, <laughs> this guy looks very good. Oh, that looks great. Do you not remember the, um, <laughs> the fucking Picard? The, <laughs> yeah. the, that, that, like, wood burnt Picard was so good. God, it really does look hard to do against the grain, doesn't it? Because yeah, like, the first one is with the grain, on. and it look, like, flows, and the second one is like, bop, 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 because, yeah. because of the grain. Look at that. Yeah, how do you do that? Trixie. Well, it still looks better than what I could do. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> it's me, Teddy. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Teddy. Thank you, Crick Kink. Uh, the Ata. Uh, the next nine bucks. The Ata. Thank you. They say, I'm currently hooked up to a blood pressure monitor. 
that is inflating every 20 minutes for 24 hours. Oh, jeez. Uh, have a great day. More importantly, uh, you're good boys and I love you. Aww. Pet pats all around. Aww. Oh, thank you, Ata. So hang on. So it's like every 20 minutes it's going and putting like more and more pressure on your arm. Until well, eventually, eventually it just... snip it off. Well, yeah. Is that is it going to pop, or is your arm going to pop? Mm. What's going to go first? Does it deflate ever? No, it doesn't say. So. I mean, he didn't mention that. <laughs> eventually, it's just like <laughs> squash. Yeah, yeah it, it just like keeps just... going until you just your arm just just drops, just you falls lose all off. The blood. Yeah, just fall. Oh my God! Like when you like you know you could like wrap a thing around your finger, and eventually all the blood flow would stop and. Yeah, yeah. I could chop your finger off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what that's called. Like a tourniquet. Is that a, Is that it? Something like that. What are those things that you put on your balls? The castration things, the rubber band that makes you put on the balls and your balls fall off. <laughs> I've never tried. Uh, it's why my voice is so high these days. Uh, right. Tried that that guy. Oh, yikes. Okay, yeah. Does that, do they inflate? No. He just... <laughs> That would be bad, though, wouldn't it? Getting a um, like a blood pressure monitor inflating around your balls. Oh, you know someone has tried that. That is someone's kink. You know someone has tried to fuck one of those. <laughs> like, just keep turning the pressure up. <laughs> uh, you know that's happened. That's definitely happened. I mean, if anything's vaguely that shape, someone's tried to fuck oh, yeah. it, right? Oh, yeah. People are animals. It, we've now made it someone's kink. Yeah, someone, someone's tried that. Look, the Ata, <laughs> don't try it don't while you're bored. I know you've got it all day. You've got a long time. <laughs> people probably aren't going to be bothering you, but at some point you're like, I could stick my dick in this, and I <laughs> yeah. bet it would feel good. Just wait till tomorrow. Wait till you finish this test, because you don't want to have to explain to the doctor why your results are fucking... Oh, yeah, up. like... Yeah, why at this one point? Is it just <laughs> massively off? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and why is it broken? <laughs> why, why is it broken? Why is it so sticky? What the fuck? Uh, wow. Well, good luck with that. Um, do you remember in uh, Dawn of the Dead... Uh, the, the bit where someone fucks a blood pressure machine. The bit where someone uh, fucks, the, fucks the blood pressure machine. Oh, I don't remember that. I just want to... So there's a bit when all the, the bikers come in and they're all fucking around in the mall. Hmm. One of them is like, I'm going to jump on the blood pressure machine and he gets eaten because he's just like... Like a lot of them are like firing guns and yeah. people are robbing stuff and that guy's just like, ha 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 ha, I'm going to have my blood pressure taken and then he gets eaten by zombies. <laughs> oh my god, it's I just have the, no memory. Just the stupidest, worst way to die. <laughs> fucking around. Oh, and it leaves his arm in the, oh, in the machine. Shit. Just absolutely fucking stupid. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, just couldn't help but... <laughs> what would you do if you could do anything? Anything. Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> blood pressure machine. Maybe that's what's happened to Atar. Maybe his whole town's been murdered. Oh, he's like it's zombies! Up Omega Man style, and he's okay. like the last person in his in his city. Wow! What if you're the last person in the city? Then if you, it'd always be weird not to try and fuck That's that blood true. pressure. Yeah, machine. you know what? If you're the last person left alive, Atar, you, yeah, you fuck that machine. No one, no one's gonna care. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, so, Atomic Walrus then it's ten bucks. The Atomic thank Walrus. You. They say, Tom and Ben, mm -hmm. long time vodka though. I'm building my own army list building app uh, for some coding practice. Nice. And I was wondering, what is the most unusual list building slash force org rules that you have come across? Mm. Uh, Kremlo came in space. Mm. I have to say, the 40k ones are some of the most convoluted. They are some of the most difficult to follow. Yeah. Especially because they keep changing them every fucking five minutes. And they keep changing, yeah. But they used to be really simple and make a lot of sense, and there was a real good logic to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but now there's so many... So it kind of works like that, but here's a million caveats and changes that you can have. Yeah. Uh, which you have, have to read seven different books to kind of understand what's going on. Do you remember the old um, epic... First edition epic, Space Marine. Didn't really play it, so. He had like company, he had a fucking massive deck of cards, all different sizes and shapes. 
and you had company cards, which were like big formations. And each company card let you take one special card and five support cards. Right, okay. Um, and then we also had detachment cards. And so when you're building your force, you could, there wasn't an army list in a book. <laughs> Every, it was like magic item card. Okay. Everything is like, well, oh, this is God. four stands of Space Marines and it's 200 points. But I can't do that on its own because it's a support card. It has to be attached to a, a company card to be the bulk of the formation. Um, and like Titans were special cards, so right. you only have one Titan per company. Um, that was kind of... It's kind of fun. Yeah. But- it Not meant that the when easiest. army buildings was you sitting on the floor and literally laying, laying out a whole stuff army. out. It's, you know. And for orcs, those support cards were then just attached to that company. You've got like a massive mob. Okay. Whereas like the Space Marines are all like individual formations. Like, I don't hate it. I think it's kind of funny. Hmm. Uh, not sure if it's as user friendly. No, I mean, you know, that was devised in like 1989 so yeah, there's better army methods these days mm. uh what other weird ones have there been oh the tyranid rules for epic holy shit this was kind of bonkers um Throw me epic tyranid army card building so the tyranids were like the last army to come out um and so they had this like weird hexagon army building <laughs> like thing. <laughs> so this was how you made your Tyranid army list in in first edition Epic. Um, so like the, the dominatrix was like the big hive queen. Yeah, yeah. And so she had lots of arrows pointing off. But like your gene stealer brood, no arrows pointing off. That's like a dead end. So if you want to keep building out, you've got to put like a hive tyrant in who opens up more slots. But then the different colors also mean different things that I can't remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you made your swarms. It's kind of fun. But when you get to the point where you and your opponent are there and you're like, okay, can I see your army list, please? And you're <laughs> yeah. like... Okay, give me give me twenty minutes. Like this, but it's like a hive. Yeah, like no, I, I, hive. no, I get. <laughs> I feel like that it's a little more style over substance. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Also, this person, I don't want to. As I, I've only just heard about this list. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like this person's instantly fucked up by putting their Tyranid Warriors there. Oh, yeah. And they've closed off some of they their have. things. They've reduced their options there. What the hell? They could have thrown that out there. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, yeah, it's... It's perfect, Tom. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> and that's how all games should be made from now on. <laughs> Wargaming peaked in 1993, okay? Yeah. This is it. Oh, man. Um, God, what else? What other fucking bonkers army building rules have there been? There's a game called um, Oathmark. Where... Um, it's like a like a medieval fantasy setting, but before you can design, before you can write your army list, you have to roll up your kingdom. So you're like, I think I've mentioned this before on the stream, but you like, okay, well, I am humans, and they live in the mountains, and next to the mountains is a river, okay, yeah, and yeah. they n- live next to dwarves, and um, then those. Your kingdom's traits give you your like army building options and you okay, how much yeah. of each unit you can have and how many points you can spend on certain allies and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of a bit more bit 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 weird <laughs> compared yeah, to regular it's sort of army a fun, building. Fun way to make your make your army. Well. Very cool. Uh what about just um original Age of Sigma? Oh, just take whatever the fuck you want. Take anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want a, you want fifty bloodthirsters? Great. I turned up with my regular thousand point Skaven army. Yeah. <laughs> I, fu- I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just see how many bloodthirsters I can kill before I die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, turns out no. not even one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, really, really fucking bad. Uh, as that's probably the worst role-playing uh, army building rules I think I've seen. Yeah. 
But don't worry, your Skaven army also brought Kairos Fate Weaver to get the 13 on the Screaming mm. Bell. So, uh, actually, you win. <laughs> also, I ditched the entire rest of the army because lowest model count goes first. And, uh, yeah, I brought two models. Ding dong, mother truckers. Ding dong, motherfucker, I win! <laughs> Suck my balls! <laughs> so bad. So yeah. bad. Uh, so, Solopus, then it's three bucks. Thank you, Solopus. Thank you. They say, Ahoy, TMB. Have either of you guys seen the recent trend of using AI to make franchises in dark 80s films? Uh, there's tons of Dark Souls to Warhammer, and it seems like it'd be right up your street. Henry Cavill, take notes. I have seen this, and I fucking love it. I don't understand. Uh, Can you show me an example? Yeah, okay. 40k if 80s movie. Uh, part three. Part three. Boom. So it's using. Oh, fuck off. Can we stop? Can I do the cool. Oh cool shit, there's loads of these things in the recommended feeds. Uh, uh, it's because we're not logged in. Oh shit. Fine. Uh, so they use uh, Mid Journey. Mid Journey. Right, to generate art. Uh, Does, is there music playing or anything? They do have music, but it's just. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it's copyright free yeah, for us or fair not. Fair enough. Uh, oh. But like when it when it hits, and it actually because a lot of it at the time it's just pulling from art. Yeah. Uh, but like some shots, you're like, fuck, like, man, I can imagine that being really them looks this. like an 80s prop and stuff. Some of it, doesn't it? And. Oh, man. Some of the stuff looks so fucking good and makes me wish that they had made some of these fucking movies in the... Well, do you not? Do you remember the actual 80s movie? Oh, look at that guy. The, um... Doesn't it look great, though? Like, can you not imagine that guy? Yeah. <laughs> rocking around. Oh, this looks like a scene out of an 80s sci-fi immediately. Holy shit. But they made a couple of videos, really low-budget Warhammer videos like this. There was the Space Hulk one, wasn't there? Yeah. Which was classic. We've looked at it before on this stream, but it is yeah. pretty fucking good. Like, no, it's not good, but you know what I mean. Um, I kind of want to see X Men as a dark fantasy. Uh, sure. <laughs> God, they've really nailed the aesthetic. Yeah, like, it's really fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what his costume would have been in, like, in the 80s. Holy shit. Wow. Looks a bit like the, the Bowser from the Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. Why is he wearing shorts? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh. Oh. My god. But yeah, like, there's some, just some really fucking cool ones. Um, I saw a great Dark Souls one uh, that just really felt like it captured, captured the look. Oh my god, Harry Potter as an 80s Yakuza film. <laughs> oh my god, what a mashup. That sounds so good. But yeah, there's just so many people making these now. Mm. Uh, I guess did someone get millions of views and now everyone's yeah. going to jump on the bandwagon? Uh, and I'm guessing it doesn't take mm. the most time in the world to make. Can we a check couple, out? A couple of days of just hitting those. Um, hitting the buttons. Once you've got your keywords lined up. Then. Just kind of rinse and repeat. Can't yeah, you? Good, to, good to go. Oh. Okay. Looks like the saddest orphan in town. Is that Hagrid? I guess so. Or Dumbledore. Uh, that's Hagrid. I haven't seen that many 80s Yakuza films, though. I don't know how, like, on point this is. Me neither. I'm just thinking of, like, uh, like John Woo films. Plus Smash Bros. Oh, come on. Jeez. You're, You're a Yakuza, Harry. Just watched an ad. Thanks, YouTube. Pal Stolf. <laughs> Okay, is that Captain is that Falcon? <laughs> uh, no, what's his name? Yeah, it is Captain Falcon. Samus? 
No, is that what it says at the bottom? Kirby <laughs> Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, uh, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of love it. Most of these really look like they could have been legit. Is that Ice Climbers? Yeah. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> Very cute. Oh. Is that oh, Zelda? Link? Yeah. Okay. That Sheik? Okay? Yeah. Who's Sheik? That's Zelda. Zelda's thing. Oh. oh I hate that as Link. I, I kind of like it. It looks real 80s. Oh, it's Ganon. <laughs> Uh, where do these images come from? Someone is like putting them into an AI art creator, wow, giving them prompts for like 80s fantasy version of Mario. Uh, yeah, so it just rips uh, just images from the internet and uh, just that has already been put online. Why do they all look a bit like Oscar Isaac? <laughs> That's what I want to mm. know. <laughs> Can't see that. Wow, Mr. Game and Watch. That's pretty, pretty wild. Oh, who's that? Mew too. Jeez. Oh, wow, not. I thought it was like a Cooper or something. Oh, Princess Peach is pretty, pretty perfect. Pichu. Ooh, he looks so old. Should we do the Star Wars one. Yeah, we'll do a Star Wars and then we'll we'll move on. Come on. What the hell? I'm not oh, a ladies near Bristol. Old Yogg's font as well. I know that one. Uh, These ones aren't weird enough. No, I guess also Star Wars was made in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, Wars. that's true. The, the, the style or the aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, like it does look a lot more Buck rogers -y. <laughs> it's not a million miles and away. It's all looking a like a lot like June, the first June. Yeah. June. Wow. Yeah. I guess it's not a it's not a different enough style to like look weird, is it? Yeah, exactly. It just ever so slightly different. <laughs> but it's still pretty pretty cool. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Klop, Klop Shitu. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite my Star Wars. Oh, wow. That is kind of weirdly close. Yeah, like super close. Oh, hate that. How fucking buff is <laughs> <laughs> fucking Yodo? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh. Kind of weird. Oh no. Yeah, this isn't different enough. No, it's not not as wacky. Uh, it looks like Shredder. Yeah, he does have that vibe. Uh, wow, Shrek. No, we don't need <laughs> no, this is a rabbit hole we could spend uh, the rest of our oh, lives geez, going down. Sure. Well thank you, Solipus. I'd never heard of this. Um it's amazing. Yeah, I've seen some like just really, really fucking good, good ones. Um, just cool. Oh, we'll just do one, one last one. I just want to show you like one of the. Uh, Can we do another Warhammer one? Uh, sure. Warhammer. Eighties uh, movie. Well, it was an unreleased eighties movie. Warhammer was made in the eighties. Ultra movie. Oh, yikes. Should we just watch the top one? It's got the most views. Not oh. always doesn't always mean it's the best. I guess that's like a thousand some. Hmm. But yeah, if that <laughs> Like these are cool I th like them, yeah, these work better than the Star Wars. Because you can kind of see what it is, but it really has that aesthetic. But yeah, yeah, Chaos Space Marines look more like this, for example. Yeah, I mean, it is a redesign, isn't it? Which is kind of what you're looking for. 
The thing is, like, Warhammer is quite 80s. Yeah. And that's when it was made. <laughs> it's kind of fucking good. Oh, those Necrons look ace. Oh, my God, yeah. This is what, like, if they'd made a Warhammer movie in the same way they made the Dune movie in the 80s, this is basically what it would look like. Yeah. And it would be terrible, but we'd probably have weird nostalgia. Yeah, for it. we'd have very fond memories for it. Uh, even if it was kind of, kind of hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, none of them have backpacks. Hmm. Distracting. Space Marines don't look like Space Marines without backpacks. Yeah, they kind of need need that. Mm. Uh, Some cool art though. Man, AI art is kind of kind of scary. Yeah, it's bonkers. And it's come such a long way in a, just a couple of years. You know. Uh, oh my god, memes in eighties dark fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, geez. Like, just imagine. Imagine where it's going to go. Just... Oof. Mm. Still dislike it. Um, Fair enough. Do you not like this guy? I love that guy. He's so happy to be there. Uh, I think you can make some really cool stuff with it. But I think you're going to be running into problems. I, how it works currently is a mm. bit problematic. Yeah. Like, Could don't be. agree with that. No, don't love all the stealing uh, that's going on. But I do like a like some of the stuff that that it makes. Mm. Um, it's really good. So I hear AI art can't be copyrighted, or thanks to the Peter thing. I did hear about that. Um, that that is set like a precedent that you can't copyright AI art. Oh really? Uh, well, so it's just free. Anyone can use it. But if you make a make an AI art thing, mm -hmm. and then you use that, if you sold this as mm -hmm. a print, anyone could just do whatever they wanted with it. It's just a free-for-all. Um, wow. Because the monkey didn't get the copyright. Because... Oh, what, well, so a monkey took a photo? Some guy published it. Okay. Peter tried to sue the guy or something. Stealing the monkey's photo. And then the court was like, fuck off, Peter. <laughs> The monkey didn't get the... The monkey can't have the copyright. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. <laughs> right. Uh, because only a only a, a people... Mm -hmm. A people can do that. So if I wanted to, like... I don't know, make a graphic novel. Uh -huh. And I wrote a story. Yeah. And then I AI arted all of the graphics yeah. for my novel. Uh -huh. I could just sell that. And that'd be fine. Try it and see, I, I guess. guess so. That's I, the stage we're at. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure there's already been... Um, there's some card game, mm -hmm. computer card game, that's come out that all the art assets were made using AI art. And that's just fine? Wow. Hmm. It's already happened with a graphic novel. That feels like that won't last forever. I th yeah, I think there's going to be a point. <laughs> yeah. One where, way or the other. Where it's all fine <laughs> until it very much isn't. And yeah. then the rules will completely change. I have no idea. Don't know how they're going to change or which way they'll go down. But like, yikes. Because that just fucks an entire industry. Anyone can make anything. Yeah. So I would still argue you require someone with a bit of vision or creativity to actually refine down yeah. like i'm sure if you started if you spent a day with an ai to make an art and i spent a day with an ai to make the art i think the one you made would look better than the one i made yeah there'd be more centaurs centaurs dicks <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like i think you know you have a better art you've, you've actually spent time learning art you would know more about the composition you'd know more about the words you wanted to use and you would iterate it better you could you obviously you know, you tell it to make a thing, and then you add or remove words, and you iterate it, and you iterate it, and you iterate yeah. it. eventually you make something you, that you wanted. And so an artistic person will probably do a better job of that. Yeah, or even just have more, you know, not everyone can come up with a Kragnos. Mm. Uh, it takes a genius to actually do that. And so to, 
to even have the idea of what you want to make. Mm. I think it lowers the barrier of entry significantly. Yeah, uh, makes it so much easier to to do. Um, and uh, so yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, but like, I don't know if I fully agree with the main argument be that you know it's fully fully stealing i think the stealing stuff is bad and like i've seen some stuff where people who have like artists have been like seen ai art being used and like clearly they said do it in my style and it is really definitely ripping off my specific artwork whatever, mm. which is bad which, but something like this yeah. could you pinpoint where this has taken stuff from no i got no idea uh, but then i don't you know i don't browse a lot of art but like you know an image like this if it's pulling from thousands of different things yeah if it's a composite of thousands of things how can you prove anything but also i i'm just playing devil's advocate here i don't really know what i'm talking about and this isn't necessarily what i believe oh yeah but for the sake of discussion isn't that what people do yeah well i think like there's that sort of case that you know you see a see a thing and you're like oh shit like every artist I has like their the influences, yeah. things that inspire them, and styles that they like, and that influences the work they make because they are effectively a combination of everything they've ever seen and done. Yeah. Which is similar to what the AI does. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It's a real murky. I, I got no idea. Yeah. Like where do you draw the line between inf what's what's an influence and what's a what's a steal? I don't know. I feel like if you can prove it, yeah, but proving proving stuff. How do you do that? Yeah, exactly. It's you know I think that that already exists in the art world. Mm. Well, yeah, I bet there's a lot. Or in, of, in any anything, you know. I've heard of stories of um, like famous comic artists just tracing photos of people. Yeah. They've been like, oh, yeah, I want my guy to look like Keanu Reeves. And Boom. so then they just trace Keanu Reeves' face and color it in. Um, not hard to change it just enough that it's not a direct copy, but it's like 90% fit. But then just because some people steal doesn't mean it should be that fine. That everyone but, does, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So it's, it's a real, actual, deep, complicated issue that two idiots on the internet, having done no prep or research, are really qualified to... Resolve. Oh, it's the art being put into a database without asking. That's the issue. I assumed that it just used Google image search. Uh, mm. But if, yeah, if you're actually taking people's stuff and then putting it into a thing and then selling uh, access to that thing, then that is definitely bad. I think I would 100% agree with. Hmm. Google image search doesn't allow you to make money out of it. Oh. Mm. You're so bad when you look at any of their hands. Yeah, eyes and hands, AI really struggles with. Well, Most of these guys have got like armor yeah, You on. don't really tend to see a lot of the hands no. in this. <laughs> Maybe this, they've curated this list very I carefully. I think they probably have, yeah. But like a lot of the AI artwork I've seen generated, the hands often just like blend into whatever they're holding, uh, or they've got like weird overlapping mishmashed fingers and stuff. Right. What was that like Wolverine? I just want to see a good good example of it. No, oh, that's just a fist. Mm. Um, someone in chat was talking about um, the Star Wars one. Apparently, had a lot of good hands. Oh, really? Star Wars. Oh, yeah, he's got like a second hand. Oh, yeah, he's got three hands. Wow. Well, he's an alien, you know. That, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Jeez, when you, like, when you look closely at it, like he's mm. just got extra thumbs coming out of places. And they're purposely not showing a lot of hands. Yeah, look at that. Just like fucking <laughs> sausage hands. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, not the one. I'm sure they'll figure that out, though. Well, you know what? Not to be too mean to the robot, but I don't think I could draw very good hands. Hands are hard to draw. <laughs> yeah. I've never tried, really. 
like when you like if you saw a photo of my hand mm. like this. Yeah. But if you try and draw it, it you'd just be like, why are the fingers all fucking weird? I guess there's not much margin for error in terms of proportions. Yeah. It's very easy to make them too thin or too thick. Oof. Like like a millimeter either way. Oh, shit. Kind yeah. of fucks it. Yeah. Ugh. Hand. Hand bad. AI feet art, please. <laughs> Well, I, can't, that, I imagine they're going to be even worse than the hands, right? Oh, my God. I guess that's what's stopping it from destroying the porn industry at this point. Mm. Is that if it can't do, like, anatomy very well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Um, but don't worry. Um, you know, centaurs are mostly hoof-based. So absolutely <laughs> fine. Uh, so we'll be fine. Very excited for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so who knows? Maybe the AI porn scene will be great uh, in the future. I'm sure it will be at some point. Because then people can just type in exactly whatever, like, debased, degenerate stuff they want. Mm. And there'll be no judgment from anyone but the AI bot. <laughs> oh, but even that AI bot is going to get a bit fucking sad after a while. <laughs> no, he's going to be the best at making that stuff. At uh, making feet. <laughs> yeah. Like, just 90% of his power is dedicated to foot, foot stuff. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Uh, well, just in case, um, I'm pretty sure I did hear Ben say that he does give consent to be used in the AI porn bot. Uh, don't tell me about it. <laughs> as 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 he doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, absolutely Ignorance fine. in this case is most certainly bliss. I think. Boom. I think. I think you'll be safe there. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Well, let's keep moving on then. Uh, Jonak Tass. Uh, Denise, twenty bucks. Need Jonak. You say hello, Tom and Ben. I have a forty k question. I wanted your opinion on if the emperor is still alive and wakes up. Do you think he would like how things have turned out? Or do you think he would regret what he uh, helped make? I don't think he'd be happy. There's no way he'd be happy. It's I basically the opposite of what he stood for. Yeah. Um, that's kind of like the, the irony of it all. That's why it's all tragic. He'd like, he'd lose his fucking mind. He'd be like, this is like worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be, he's not going to be. See how he... I'd be like, what the fuck have you guys been doing? Unless it was all part of the plan. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Uh, I feel like the part of the plan was, I'm going to plug myself in but and leave special instructions with someone on, like, how to look after me. And then once I've, like, regenerated, like, get me out of the machine. And then the guy he gave, like, the long list of very complicated instructions to, like, lost it. Isn't there? And then he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Isn't there a thing of, uh, what's his name? Everyone's favorite. Um, he, there is like a special emperor's note that was given to like the fucking uh, Grey Knights or something. Oh, that's Malkador's like final instruction. Right. Okay. So he founded the, the Grey Knights uh, and the Inquisition. Because he knew that they, they they were like at the end of the heresy they were like this is all gone tits up mm. best case scenario everything's shit so we'll found a real ruthless authoritarian anti chaos division um, and he gave them a, like a like a secret box with an envelope in it and was like if like if everything's about to end if we're like last case scenario like worst case scenario you've got no other choice open the box it'll tell you what to do. And, like, no one's ever opened it because things have never got, like, bad enough. Because okay. he said, like, only open this if, like, the universe is about to be destroyed. Right, okay. Um, so who knows? Um, Maybe that's how you turn the Emperor. They just got to turn the Golden Throne off and on again. Yeah, they're like, look, just unplug it. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to fuck around too much, but, yeah, just unplug it and then the Emperor will come up and he'll sort it all out. <laughs> yeah. But until then... He needs. He just wants to lie in for as long as he can. Yeah, he really wants just to chill out for a bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> it'll almost suddenly say, kill the Emperor and I'll just reincarnate. I kind of think that's the case. I think he... I like the idea that he has to die and then he becomes a god. Well, maybe that's the long, the long con. Maybe the whole time... He was like, I need to become... The only way I can save the universe is to become as powerful as the Chaos Gods. Mm. And so I just need billions of people to all worship me 
so I can accumulate enough like warp power. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then once once we've got enough suffering souls praising me, then boop. Yeah, turn it off and just like blammo, Ascend good to go. To the yeah, become the mega god, mm. something like that. That sort of vibe. He's not Jesus. He might have been Jesus. You never know. Could be. Maybe that was a never die. Oh, Having God. a laugh. Yeah. Those never dies. <laughs> what will they get up to next? <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got a donation from Dave. Uh, it's 36 bucks. Thank you, Dave. They say, Mr. Tom, Mr. Ben. Uh, I work in, as an analyst mm -hmm. and work with a guy that looks identical to Ben. Oh. Uh, you mean generic human male? Yeah, beard number three. Uh, I, I too am an analyst. Maybe, maybe it is me you've met. Wow. Uh, I accidentally started calling him Middle Slider Man. <laughs> uh, long and short, I work doing Ben work with a Ben clone. Uh, also, I love the random chat format. Oh, holy shit, Dave. Wow. Well, Dave, thank you so very much. Maybe don't call middle slider man a middle slider man to his face no I... we don't like that <laughs> that's it's, our it's, word for it's, us it's really hard to tell that they don't like it because of their standard human expression but not super super popular classic lego head Wait, uh, where's i go ahead with with hair look just get him one of these oh my god <laughs> this one. one. It's a photo of Ben. <laughs> it's just a picture of Ben. There we go. Get him that for his secret Santa. Wow. I feel like, look, I got a custom minifig <laughs> made of you. It looks exactly <laughs> like you. Don't do that. That's workplace harassment. That is absolutely horrible. <laughs> wow. AI art of Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not even that. It's just a photo. It's just a photograph. Just a photo. That's from me before I grew the beard. You know, we've got to update it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's what's on my driving license. Okay, well, get like, are there good Lego beards? Probably. Somewhere. God, it's weird seeing the Lego skin tone people. Yeah. I didn't even notice, actually. Yeah. When did Lego people stop being yellow? Oh, I hate that Avatar Lego. That's kind of Uncanny Valley. The like long legs. Oh, the long <laughs> legs. <laughs> okay. Kind of upsetting. Not super into that at all. Wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's like it's Ben on the farm. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Uh, Dubster the beard. And it's forty-eight bucks. Uh, thanks so much, Dubster the beard. Um, they say Tim and Bon. Uh, how do I finally got a chance to watch you live after having to work for many hours? Uh, sent an update of my death dread and added some dags and checks that you suggested. Nice. Uh, plus, add some friends. Uh, good work. Keep it up. Well, thank you so very much. Dubs to the beard. Thank you. That's very generous. Thank you so much. Uh, very appreciated. And. Oh, oh wow. he's looking great. Oh, he looks amazing. Oh, the hazard strokes look great. Mm -hmm. uh, the checkerboards look really good. I, yeah. yeah, I feel like that really helps to make it pop. It really does. Like it's just a great. tiny little bit of extra stuff, but mm -hmm. just helps to add a bit more uh, like kind of texture to the model. Oh, I do love Lego. I'm oh, not Lego. I'm talking about Orc Dreadnoughts. They're so good. Yeah, really cool. I think they just got better in the game. Did they? Killer cans got cheaper. I love killer cans. Killer cans. Like little baby dreadnoughts. Very cool. Um, there's something about how strategic reserves have changed that teleporting them in or something like that is meant oh. to be a pretty good tactic. Didn't I, don't, them in. I don't fucking know. Uh, sounds like rules shit. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, that's awesome, dude. Thank you, Dubster. Well, thank you so very much. Uh, Seth, 0987, and it's 15 bucks. Hey, Seth. Hey, Tom and Ben. I just managed to catch you live today. Will you two be playing Warhammer Total War stream this year? Uh, I'm hoping to finally actually uh, play it after buying it last year. Ooh. Uh, looking forward to dying in auto. 
Um, we don't have plans for what we're going to play yet. Um, no, I think we will go back to Warhammer when it's got an update. But I think at the moment we're not like super keen. We've just done it a lot, and, and we want to do something new. Mm. So we'll do some other games until something new comes out for Warhammer, which won't be long. They do DLC all the time. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole load. Sure, of those. it won't be long. Whole load of that shit coming out. Um, XCOM, we're probably not XCOM. That's a that's a Ben thing. Ben th and Lewis thing to do together. That's true. Uh, Fenriel, uh, so it's four bucks. Need Fenriel. It's a TB. Mm. Uh, I hope you might enjoy All Tomorrows by Nemo Ramjet. Hmm. It's a sigh tale of future humanity being twisted into all but completely unrecognizable shapes by a vengeful gene-bending alien species. can read the book online for free. Not a book. It's And it's a quick read. It's not a book. Uh, wow. All Tomorrows. Cover to fix a bug face. Mm. Okay. It's um, a billion year chronicle. Okay. How long is it? 111 4. pages. Good reads. That is short. Oh. 111 pages. Oh, keep that keep that tab open. I'll make a note of that and mm. uh, give it a go. I feel like I'm on a bit of a reading, reading, well, not binge, but I'm just doing mm. consistent reading at the moment, ah, and so cool. adding more things. Yeah, I, I go on a, a, like a stint of reading until I sort of run out of things I'm excited to read, and then mm. I don't read for a couple of months. So keep keep the train rolling. I want like a good, I want to read a good murder mystery book. I've been watching a lot of murder mystery things recently. Okay, did you watch The Glass Onion? I watched The Glass Onion. I thought it was all right. It wasn't as good as Knives Out, was it? It wasn't as good as Knives Out, but I thought it was all right. I thought yeah. it was fun. I, uh, I enjoyed the... Well, no, I didn't. I enjoyed Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig was great. He was really good. I kind of liked some of the other characters. They were like... Most of them were just annoying. They were mainly just annoying. Uh, I think we spent too much time with them in the beginning. Yeah. The first, like, 20 minutes was just like, oh, these guys suck. It takes a while to build up. Uh, he likes Glass Onion better than Nine Sound. Really? Well, you're just wrong. Mm. <laughs> of course, it's everyone's um, personal choice. I don't know. It's like I thought the um, the plot of Nine Sound was more compelling, mm. uh, and the sort of reveal at the end was better. Yeah, the reveal was more satisfying in Knives Out. Because uh, can I do a, a spoiler? Can he do a spoiler? So this is a spoiler. Mute us for like a minute if you haven't watched Glass Onion. But I do fucking hate... I still enjoyed the film, but it was really tarnished by Secret Twin. It's such a cop-out. The halfway through... And I hate it. Uh... That you don't even know who, um, who's, uh, who's mur who's murder the thing is about. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Um, okay. There we go. No more spoilers. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, that, that wound me up. But, because it just felt a bit unsatisfying. Uh, but mostly, mostly good. And so, uh, yeah. Spoiler over. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that. Mango Baggins says Knives Out is more of a mystery and Glass Onion is more of a comedy. Yeah, I think that's probably... That, that's quite... That's probably... The, way, the lean, like One leans one way, the other leans the other way more. Mm. That's fair. Uh, but I watched a couple of other murder, murder mystery things. I watched the, the Pale Blue Eye yesterday. What's that? It... I th it literally just came out on Netflix. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the 1830s, mm -hmm. and uh, Christian Bale, he's a retired policeman in New York, okay. and he has to come back for one last case. Right. Um, Pale Blue Eye, is that what it's called? Um, 
And uh, so it's in the description, but I kind of went into it absolutely blind. I was sitting down to eat some food, and I was like, fuck it. I want to watch something. It was the first thing that came on. I was like, great, I'm just going to watch it, because I don't want to dig around. I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to watch. Um, and so he jumped into it. And so, yeah, you've got grizzled, older Christian Bale sure. going to investigate, like, oh, a murder. Um, and he teams up with a young Edgar Allan Poe, and they crime fight together, and it's a bit fucking weird. Okay. Um, it does sound wacky. I thought it was pretty good, but there is a shit twist in it that <laughs> was a bit like, what? Uh, but... The guy that plays um, Edgar Allan Poe in it mm. absolutely fucking stole the show. Christian Bale is just like, oh, maybe this isn't connected. Have you thought of that? Whereas the young Edgar Allan Poe is just constantly talking in poetry and uh, talking about the morose and uh, <laughs> right. just, it was just great. I really, really enjoyed his character. Oh, um, I might have to check that out. I watched... Um Speaking of mysteries, watched uh, Death on the Nile a couple of months ago. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen the train one yet, though, which is the first one. Yeah. Uh, but the boat one, kind of fun. Kenneth Branagh, very, very silly. I prefer Death on the Nile to the murder on the Orange Express. Mm. Um, I f think it worked better. Because also, fuck, they completely cut out the bit where in Murder on the Orange Express... Mm -hmm. So you get the, like, kind of the idea. He's playing Poirot. He's like a thinky guy. Mm -hmm. um, pretty, like, you know, he's a slightly older gentleman. Um, there's a... And he just goes around and he does detective shit. Yeah. In Murder on the Orient Express, it's the same. But at some point, um, I think there's like an explosion and, there's, and they're on a railway bridge. And there's like a bad assassin person. And then suddenly, it's like you're watching fucking Star Wars Episode One, and he is a Jedi <laughs> who is like flipping off of falling railway beams and like sword fighting with his cane. Oh my god! And there's just like two or three minutes, maybe a bit longer, maybe like a five minute action scene that is just like, where did this come from? Is this the same guy? Why is he not always beating the shit out of like? How is he suddenly a fucking martial artist? Like, right. it, and it upset me so much. <laughs> and maybe I'm like really over-exaggerating on this, but it is really weird that he suddenly is like action, yeah, action combat hero. dude. Oh, that, I hate that. Uh, just <laughs> like the rest of it was great. It was actually like really, really good. Uh, but uh, that part wasn't. The guy who plays Poe was Dudley Dursley from Harry Potter. No fucking way. I can instantly see that now. Oh. Uh, he's like m much skinnier. But then I guess the last time I saw Dudley Dursley was in a movie. When he was just a fat. 10, 15 years ago when he was like a chubbier kid. <laughs> wow. Mm. He's a former World War I soldier. Yeah, but wasn't he discharged because of injury or something? Something like that. Also, have you seen the scene? World War One soldier that fights like uh, you know Qui Gon Jin uh, doing flips around. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I don't know. I didn't. I didn't fight in World War One. I. I don't know how it worked, but I'm guessing well, it was wasn't like that scene from the Clone Wars where all the Jedi come down to Geonosis. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Uh, oh. He was in the Clone Wars. Okay. I didn't realize that Poirot was a Star Wars 2. Oh, shit, is he a Never Die? Because that's a long time ago in a galaxy oh, far away. Oh, yeah, probably. So he could be in both. Uh, I think if anyone's a famous historical figure, there's like a 50-50 chance they're a Never Die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Oh, my God. Odds are one of us is a Never Die. <laughs> we haven't spoken about it because of the terrible things we've done. We're both Never Dies who are trying to hide the fact by oh, flagging shit. Off Never Dies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and Rumbled. we don't want the other one to know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We actually met in a previous life. <laughs> wow, we didn't realize that we were covering up. Wow, we met constantly, but I'm so good at disguising the fact that we're Never Dies. Wow. Okay. Um, oh. 
it was the Cologne Wars. The, okay, love it. Love that. Perfect. Uh, uh, but yeah. Who's up next? Okay, uh, we have uh, Crook Kick Algerian, uh, who uh, did three bucks. Thank you so much. This is a second attempt. I've been trying more wood burning. Uh, wood too shitty. Yeah, we read. Oh, uh, we. Uh, I think because we took so long to actually get around to reading oh, messages that people assumed twice. that, which honestly is a great scam to run. Uh, that's not the right buttons to be pressing. Pow. Boop. It's the same. It's the same boy. It's but the same we got one. Him. But it's here. It's Toddy and Teddy. Toddy and Teddy. We got him. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Crew King. Sorry. Sorry, sorry it took sorry. us so long. We're bad at streams. Uh, the Silver Teen. Uh, Denise, five bucks. Denise, Silver Teen. Thank you. They say, since his rules were recently revealed, mm. uh, I'd like to know how many Ron Weasleys would it take to kill Angron? Mm. I think it would be less than you would expect mm. because Angron is clearly, I think to Ron Weasley's eyes, a like, a, like a bad monster dude. Yeah, he would instantly recognize that as like, a f fucking horrendous beast. That he's not going to be like, oh, I can't attack because he could be a good person. Mm. But when you see Angron, who's just like, blah, 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 you're going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah fucking. Uh, and does Angron have. Um, oh, wrist straps. Now I was going to say, like. So you can just uh, expelliarmus him. Protection Ooh. from mortal wounds. Oh, does he have like a brass collar of corn? Because that. Oh, I do. Would help him. That would help against the with magic the resistance. Magic. Exactly, <laughs> but um, I, oh, do, it depends. Is Ron a Warhammer nerd? Because if you know Angron's true name, you can like banish him back to the warp for a thousand years and a day. Isn't it Angron? <laughs> yeah. You need like his full name and title and all that shit. Oh. And then you can do a mag the Grey Knights did it one time. Oh, okay. they did like a. That's why he's been gone for so long. Right. He got banished for a thousand years and a day. Very important, the extra day. <laughs> Great. When they did like an exorcism on him, basically. Okay. Um, so if, if Ron knows this, you know, he can just do it. Uh, only so many wounds per face. Have they released how tough he is? Um, it's probably been leaked. Because uh, if he has... Yeah, if he's got a limit on wounds... Then it's quite a few, isn't it? It's going to take hundreds. Although, if you have... What's the fucking thing called? The... I'm Voldemort. Blam! Fuck you! Insta-kill spell. Yeah. Um, uh, you are a cadaver. Av uh, av <laughs> av av cadaver. <laughs> av a cadaver. Uh, because that wouldn't do wounds, that would just remove the model. That oh, I thought we decided it was like D6 mortal wounds or something, right? No. Me? No, because it's an insta kill. It's just an insta kill. Yeah. It's an instant death attack. Just blam. Would I... that bypass the so many wounds per phase ability then? Yeah, because uh, there are already weird mechanics that do skip the amount of wounds per phase. Okay. With weird caveats on how the wounds are done, because uh, it's a really tight, well written system. <laughs> uh, but there's a few things that can break that. Okay. And so, chances are, Avocadaver, blam. Could, kill, kill model. Could Angron be stupefied and just stun locked yeah. to oblivion? Yeah. Although I don't know how good stupefy would work on him because mm. he gets stupid, but he's still fucking angry. Yeah. Like he might not do uh, make a good tactical decision. I thought stupefy was like a you're dazed and you've got like you know stars and uh, oh little around. birds <laughs> tweeting around your head. Oh <laughs> yeah. well, maybe. I don't know. Is it a stun? Um, I don't know. Yeah, does anyone love Angron enough to um, shield him from Avocadava? You know Corn doesn't. Yeah, that's true. Corn would just like Lamau if. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that actually happened. It is a stun. Okay, so yeah, maybe he can be stunned. So um, I was reading the latest Horus Heresy book, and you know Cabanda, the big bloodthirster guy? He fights Sanguinius years before, and Sanguinius like, beats him up and sends him back. And Commander was like the highest uh, bloodthirster in Korn's court of angry boys. Mm -hmm. And when he gets his ass kicked by Sanguinius, he comes back and Korn is like, 
hand in your badge and your axe. You're out of here. I'm exiling you to the blood fields or whatever. Sure. So Kabanda has to... Um, He's he's like got no power and no energy, and he has to like hide from all the blood letters and the flesh hounds and stuff. Oh, oh! And he has to like hunt the hunt his hunters while they try to eat him. And he spends like ten years regaining his strength until he like walks back into Corn's throne room with his like patchwork armor. Okay. And he's like, I demand a fucking yeah, re- a fucking rematch. recount. <laughs> a recount. And so Corn's like, brilliant. Um, you can have it all back. You can be my chosen best boy again if you kill five hundred members of his bloodline but in front of Sanguinius that's your task oh so he's like commander's like oh 500 blood angels easy oh but Sanguinius is there to like stop me Ooh, okay <laughs> but he's not so he, when he turns up at the siege of terror he's not there to kill Sanguinius like Sanguinius assumes right he's like the only way I can earn my place back in the respect of my peers and all the rest of it so he's just going on a rampage and Sanguinius keeps like attacking him and try, trying to fight him and he's just like, fuck off, I'm killing <laughs> your boys. Oh, shit, okay. It's the only thing that matters. I don't know, that was just like one of the small parts that I, I was like, that's actually nice. That's yeah. not just, uh, you have to go kill the guy who killed you. It's, it's like, like fun. It's like Corn's kind of trolling him with a... Uh, yeah, here, with, do this stupid fucking task. It's like a weird achievement you've got to unlock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I kind of like that. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, there's one bit where he smashes through like the big wall around the Emperor's Palace, and all of the um, while the Chaos Invasion's coming in, and everyone's like, "Oh, Commander, the hole's not big enough for like the tanks of the Titans. Can you?" Because he's got the only thing that can smash through the gate. Okay. And he's just like, <laughs> so, "That sounds like a you problem. That sounds like a marine problem. <laughs> I'm gonna go off chopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's quite fun. Oh, what a cool boy. So yeah, he had to go grind 500 blood angels to get a, um, <laughs> bo- like oh a boar snout a, to return. To- <laughs> so great, to get a new hat. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So we went totally off topic there. But yeah, Angron, just just out of a cadaver room, I reckon. Yeah. Just one? One Ron Weasley? Oh, yeah, I kind of think we could just be one. Just shoots on sight before Angron gets to him. Boo! <laughs> yeah. If worst case scenario, it would be two. Because the first one is like, stupefy, and like fucks around and is like, you should be nice. <laughs> and they're just like, skulls for the skull throne, kills him. The second one pops out, is like, looks evil, has just killed a Ron Weasley. Blam. Blam, oh, fucking open and fire. Demons weak to magic, right? Traditionally, in Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah, they don't love that shit. They lose their um, demonic ward save against magical attacks. Yeah. So, boom. Blasted. <laughs> we got him. Uh, we have uh, Highland Volver. Who needs six bucks? Need Highland Volver. They say Ratto Gatom and Warlock Engineer Ben. Do you each have a favorite Warhammer fancy recommendation? And if Warhammer Old World is good, uh, who do you each plan to play first slash the most? Ooh. Uh Kremlo came all over our space. Warhammer fancy recommendation. Uh, my favorite, my favorite Warhammer races to play and to paint and stuff are Skaven and Elizabeth. Mm. They're both great, and I love them. Those are probably I've got armies for both, and those will the, be the first things I try. Um, Definitely agree with Skaven. Love that. Um, oh, he means novel recommendation. Oh. Uh. There's ones that I like, but I don't know how much I'd rate them as, like, great. Yeah. Like, Felix and Gothric was fun. Uh, I liked the Riders of the Dead book. Mm. I thought that was cool because it kind of, like, explored some stuff in Warhammer Fantasy you didn't really get to see. Like, the pictures, there's two brothers, and they go to war uh, against Chaos. They're two, like, Empire guys. One guy gets captured by Chaos. Mm. The other guy doesn't get captured by Chaos. And then it's their stories that are kind of parallel of how they both rise through the ranks. Like, one of them is just a smart guy who just becomes an empire sort of general. And the other dude, like, he's a slave and he gets put in the fight pits and kind of starts doing well and Mm. sort of slowly going up through chaos. But you get to see a lot of just, like, what does a chaos warrior do on his day off? Mm. Um, 
and there's a good little like just the Conan pain wheel. <laughs> it's the Conan pain wheel. Just a lot of misery. <laughs> right. uh, and there's a bit in there which I thought must have been like a fun reference the whoever wrote it had played uh, Warhammer Fantasy where there's a bunch of these like fucking big chaos warrior lieutenant guys mm -hmm. and a lot of them have silly magic weapons but one of them just has like a great axe <laughs> right. and all the people with the silly magic weapons all fucking die <laughs> but the guy with the great axe just does really really well even <laughs> yeah. though he doesn't because one of them's like I, my sword is like makes me a little faster than everyone else and you're like oh that's the fucking striking blade or whatever that gives you plus one initiative that you yeah. buy for five points or like all those garbage common magic items yeah and oh, I like that and the great the great weapon was not only better but also cheaper yeah yeah and so <laughs> that guy who was like a bit of a pleb with the chaos warriors <laughs> yeah. like actually he did really well and feels that like fun. that had to have been a reference in mm. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, so you thought that that one, Rise of yes. the Dead. One, I mean, I had not read many fantasy books. I usually read more 40k. I do remember, and uh, oh, this would have been like 25 years ago that I read this. So maybe it's not good. I don't remember very clearly, but I remember at the time really enjoying this book, The Claws of Chaos. Um, the second one was shit, but the first one was quite fun. Um, it's about this like empire swordsman, and um, he ends up getting like wrongly accused by a uh, like a witch hunter of huh. being like a heretic, and he has to like go on the run. Um, and it was quite fun. Um, I can't even remember a different one. Mm. Felix and Godric. They're kind of goofy romps. Uh, I don't know, from me reading. I mean, it's been a long time since they've made a fantasy novel, hasn't it? Because they blew it all up not that long ago. Yeah. Oh, the first Nagash book I enjoyed. Oh, I never read it. It's like Nagash origin story. Um, and where he's just like a normal human uh, in living in like ancient Egypt, Kemri, before they all turn into skelly men. So it's That's like great. thousands of years before any of the other like civilized races. Um, that was actually really quite cool. Um, the fun thing about it, well, yeah, Nagash the Sorcerer, that was it. So it's, um, it's two stories told parallel, alternating chapters. One is like when he first discovers magic and like his like origin story. And the other one is he's basically already the Dark Lord trying to conquer all of Kemri. Right, okay. And you sort of get, you alternate between like oh, massive, cool. the massive battles and the like court intrigue. Because he's like the second son, his brother's the pharaoh. Right, he's like, okay. He's the, what's his name from um, Aladdin? He's like the evil vizier. Oh, okay. And he was like, what? Jafar. Yeah, he wants the throne and, the, and he wants to marry the queen. Mm. He's like the guy from The Mummy. <laughs> you know? uh, okay, Imhotep. Imhotep, yeah. Mm. Um, so I like that book, that was a good one. Although, you know, set 5,000 years before anything else in Warhammer, so... Um, not super warhammery. Yeah, kind of pretty detached. Uh, yeah, I am. And in Old World, which, what do you want to play first or most? Um, yeah, probably Lizardmen Skaven. I kind of want to see what they what they bring out. Yeah, what they change, what they do. Uh, I've always wanted a Dogs of War army. Hmm. Uh, oh, that's very long down the list. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, for sure. Uh, uh, but yeah, Skaven. Skaven are great. Like I've always loved Groblins, just yeah, especially goblins with uh, you know fanatics and squigs and stuff like that. Uh, very cool. I really want to see what they do with Tomb Kings. Yeah, because I love the the artwork for the Tomb Kings, and if the models can match that, I'd be very tempted. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tomb Kings very cool as well. I think there's a lot. A lot of armies. Mm. It's tricky though because it's it's a huge commitment to buy and build and paint a fantasy army. Yeah, and I don't know what the rules will be like and whether you'll need. Seems unlikely they'll make you need less models. Mm. But like, oof, it's you know, it's a good hundred to two hundred models. It's, if, especially if you're doing a fucking horde. Like, oh mm. god. Um, and I don't know. Like, unless I knew a bunch of other people that were playing it. Mm. 
it's an expensive investment to then suddenly be like, hey, do you want to play your lizard men versus my Skaven every week for net forever? Yeah, like you need to be in a club really to get the variety, um, which is what makes it a bit more a bit more fun. Uh, hmm. Wait, are they redoing and reintroducing Warhammer Fantasy? Yes. Yeah, it's coming. It's well, just called the old world. Might, well, it might be another year or two away. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Uh, and then, last of all, we've got a donation from Eldritch Nerd. He does three you. bucks, and they say, Dom, if you're interested in murder mystery, try Sherlock Holmes, Consultative Detective, uh, and choose your own adventure with long narrative clues reveals. Is that the board game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we might have played I it. I have I, played it. I've played it. I don't know if you've played I, it. Uh, did we work out that maybe you have my copy of it? Because I had a copy in the office that... Uh, disappeared because I thought I'd given it to oh, someone. Oh, shit, because I... There was, like, a pile of, like, board games that had a please take note on it. And I did take the free board game. That I think... I won't say names, but someone might have put it in that sort of pile just because shit. they were like, I don't like this being here, and was actually mine. Uh, but in turn, I, I thought it was like um, give it back. someone else had Done it. But also, if you've played through all the adventures, I only did like three or four of them, because um, it was a lot of reading, mm. lots of reading, no, and not just um, you know read. I don't mind reading the bits where you talk to the characters and you get the clues. The bit that I minded was going th through all the newspapers. Yeah, where you're really digging for. Because the first one or two, like mysteries, are fine because you've only got each one's one newspaper, but then. The deeper you go into it, they reference all the previous newspapers. And if you haven't played it for a while, then you've got to, okay, I've got to read five different newspapers. Yeah, like, it gets way, way more complicated. Um, yeah, it's a tricky one. Uh, but also for murder mystery books, I kind of want, you know, I generally read before I go to sleep. And it's kind of a bit hard to crack this out in bed and... <clears throat> play the next part of the adventure. Yeah. Uh, and it has got some fucking classic Sherlock Holmesisms in it. Mm. Where, I'm a um, big, big fan of. Like, are some of the leaps in logic he makes in those books. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, obviously, because uh, of this factor, it would it had to be this weird combination of events. Oh, jeez. When, when you're like, really, Holmes? Because like, there's like five or six other more likely things that meet the, your criteria. Yeah, there. yeah. Like, there's a lot of ways that this could be solved. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What else? Um, blam. Okay. Closing statements? Because maybe it's time for us to be wrapping this this thing up uh no no further statements to add your honor perfect perfect like this is us <gasps> hanging out uh amazing perfect. um Brian, well thanks so much to everyone who has uh been watching everyone who's been hanging out mm -hmm. time for judgment i judge you guilty of being a cool guy yes. Uh, mistrial <laughs> mistrial <laughs> uh, you mishandled the evidence uh, sad sad times uh, but yeah so we're going to be wrapping up thanks so much to everyone who joined us yes um, thank you it's been a good time hope um, you're still enjoying the rambling yeah uh, maybe we'll you know. play a game next week maybe we'll do more chat <laughs> <laughs> who <laughs> knows <laughs> uh, we'll see if there's any games that you really want to see mm -hmm. um, let us know yeah uh, the especially comment. on the, the comment to a tweet any of that stuff mm -hmm. uh, will be great. Yeah. Um, so. I'll be streaming on my channel tomorrow. So you can oh. hang out there. It'll be fun. Very cool. Five till late. Late. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> uh, and we'll be back next week. We'll catch you later. Goodbye. <gasps> I can do it here. All I have to oh, do yeah. press is the button. press this. Oh. No. Oh, and this. this.